God, we're so in sync for me. That's even crispier, dude. That was. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, I don't know. We got what's good internet on? today, man. I don't we're know, man. It. The internet's working, man. The, the birds are chirping. Yeah. yeah. We were talking the... uh, before we got the show started about how we, all of us, uh, each and every one of us, we, we violently edge uh, right before the show starts, and then just before we finish, we start recording. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we're just insane. so we're just we're just really stressed out the whole episode that's that's why <laughs> that's, that's how we get yeah that's that. how we get all the best <laughs> the best bits when, when you're just all pent up and angry you know <laughs> yeah you're just vibrating your dick is twitching like a jumping bean bro it's going <laughs> crazy that's disgusting. i don't even know how we got on that actual subject i just remember where it led to where it's like the oh 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were talking about kingston always be, so kingston for just for just a little behind the scenes baseball. Kingston is usually the guy the day before going like, "Hey, tomorrow at eleven, we're good," and then we're like, we're, "Yeah, we're good." And then Derek and I are here at eleven, and then we're just waiting <laughs> for hours. And then, like 11, and then, and then not hours. And then it's like hours, 11, 15, man. Eleven fifteen, the latest. I usually show up like, "Hey guys, what's up?" <laughs> yeah, I just or you'll, you'll, pop, make in, sure you'll guys, pop in. You'll pop in. You'll be like, "So guys, I literally just woke up." Yeah, I'm like, hey. constantly. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you doing? What? I just roll out of bed. What's Why do you guy? not have an alarm clock, brother? I do have an alarm clock. In then, fact, then what do you mean? Then are you snoozing for an hour? What you are have you a dedicated. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. You have a you dedicated alarm. Wait, wait, wait. Keep, hold on. You don't keep hitting snooze. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. You, you have a dedicated alarm clock. <laughs> hey, sir. You can snooze for fucking. No, I have a alarm. My alarm is just for eight a.m. But you have a, your phone alarm. Wait, walk us through your day. Walk yeah. us through your day. Okay, so you get up at 8 a.m. Or do you do yeah. you snooze for like a half hour? What do you do? What happens is I usually wake up around like 7-ish uh, gym. Then by the time I get back, my body's dead. And I'm like, dang, and I nap, I nap it out. Once the nap finishes, I wake up and it's around like So you 10. don't you don't set an alarm for your nap? No. Nah. Yeah, that, yeah, that's, so that's my body, the my fucking problem. My body usually problem. wakes me up before I have to like, I have to, like things, have to do things. Oh, my God. That is so irresponsible <laughs> to not set an alarm clock for your fucking nap. <laughs> Especially if your nap is scheduled and like reliably consistent. Like you just know that like, yeah, I'm going to be napping. I need that post gym nap because I come in the house and I have everybody on post gym. You're like, you got some energy still. You still got that fume and energy. Like, oh man, my fucking testosterone so much. My dick so hard. And then like I, water touches my body. The moment water touches my body, it's like. When you cut an animal's balls off, it's immediate <laughs> pacification, like a, like a momentarily. And I'm like, I could really go for a nap right now. I found your problem. <laughs> your problem is your bitch. See, see, you, you, the luxuries of being in the first world with your hot ass water. You take a cold ass fucking shower. Your bitch ass Bro, is if not I take a, going if I take to a sleep. Cold shower, I'll fall asleep in the. Sh- the Bullshit. cold makes me fall asleep even worse. Chris is my witness. Everyone thought I was kidding about this. Whenever I'm cold, I literally fall asleep immediately. What's wrong with you? You I'm, you I'm say that you, I'm meant to you die. say that you say that like it's just true. What are you talking meant, about? I, I swear I to God, I have never seen this in my you life. Have you showered with I him? fall asleep. I instantly. If you yeah. put on the cold air, I'm like, dang, this is cold as shit. <laughs> and I die, and I, I'm not meant to live in the winter. That means I'll, if I ever had to so you're, in you're snow. in the shower, and, and it's cold ass, ice cold water, and you're like, hey, Chris, get in here. Chris, get here. I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> get, I'm Chris, fall asleep. get in here, Chris. Watch me fall asleep. <laughs> watch me. Come watch this. Watch me fall asleep. <laughs> Dude, come get in the shower with me. Don't be weird. I'm just gonna fall asleep real fast though. Like, like watch this. Listen, it's not. You gotta weird. be naked, as as bro. You gotta be naked, bro. Yeah. See, that's you the weird part. I'm just gonna fuck it up, dude. If he still has his clothes on, it's all right. Once he, once he, once he, once he removes his clothes, then it's like, okay, what's happening? Is something gonna happen? Are you guys nah, still dude, bros? You gotta, or? If, you, if you if you go in there with your clothes, you're just gonna fuck up your clothes. That's irresponsible, dude. That's true. Who wants to wet with their bunch of their clothes and then wet up the floor after they get out the shower? Like, just that take your clothes true. off. Be a, be a gentleman. Yeah, take your <laughs> New York fitted and your Tim's off. I, I have to <laughs> say, man. I have to say, man, there's there's no feeling quite like like getting jumping into a pool with your clothes on <laughs> is such a that that feels like breaking out of the matrix. Like, there's like something about it that feels so un like 
un I, I understand clothes are unnatural so it's like an extension but like just the like wet clothes like heavy wet clothes <laughs> feel so wrong in a way that like i have to imagine like a monkey would feel like in a space shuttle you know what i mean where like yeah. they, do, they do not belong this is everything about like, this is wrong i feel like a monkey in a space shuttle feels like a monkey in a space shuttle feels like it's too behind for how far it is yeah, yeah, opposed yeah. to water and clothes, just feels like dumb. Especially imagine <laughs> you feel getting silly like, afterwards. You just feel your silly. shoes on. If you oh, fucking yeah. have your shoes on, that's like to me that is what like you know. Remember that protein goop shit that they're eating in the Matrix? It's like the yeah, equivalent. Yeah, yeah. Like you just swallowed that shit. That's how gross that feels when your that's shoes the- are wet. At the same time, dude, that's like you're they're, fine. They're, I, I, you can't you're deny fine with it. if you wet your shoes and you're fine with it, you should be beat up for whatever <laughs> reason. Be beat up for whatever reason, like there's production value in that. Like people what are we, what are we in people <clears throat> in full outfits, get, like falling into pools and shit, looks expensive. Even if it isn't like I remember when I did that video, like I did a Francesca Ramsey video years ago where I walked around in the in the fountain in a suit. I walked around in the fountain in a suit in like the the I, th- I, um, I can't remember what the hell the Americana in Glendale. And I, I had like a suit on. I had like a vest. I had like a, a little jacket ah, on. I remember, and I walked I around. That. I walked around in the fountain and a bunch of people were looking at me like I was fucking insane. And people still <laughs> people still bring that up to me where they're like, that was a fucking crazy. I can't believe you actually did that. And I was like, I kind of can't believe it either. But that that the fact that I like if I the effect would be completely gone if I had just gone in there in like a bathing suit. You know what I mean? Like there's something logically people were like, how much did that cost? I'm like, what do you mean? (laughs) <laughs> you just, you just, it's, wet, like, it's it's wet people, clothes. Yeah, it's people have asked me that though. It's like, did you fuck up your shoes or whatever? It's like, no, it's water. Water's they, everywhere. They, what are you wearing that like barbaric, water dude. disintegrate? What are you wearing like licorice clothes? <laughs> hey, you never know. Goes with a cotton can, candy, and you have moments to get the fucking shot right out. Their clothes are gone. That's kind of what <laughs> suede like, is, really. When you, if you, if you really think about like what suede is and how vulnerable of a fabric that is, it's it's basically cotton candy. Like if it rains or snows, it's it's fucked. Thing. Well, I have a suede jacket. And I'm not one to do, but I'm also in L.A. where it doesn't rain. You know what I mean? Like if I was in I New really York, I would. A, it'd be insane to have a suede jacket in New York. I want to get a silk tracksuit. Are you dope. fucking insane? A silk tracksuit? <laughs> that is that is Slavic as- ascension. That is like the next level. I feel like for that's them. crazy black, but I guess Slavic su- appropriated it too. No, the tracksuit, yeah, like the they- tracksuit. The tracksuit in and of itself is very like Eastern European, it, you, Russian. No, it is now. It was yeah. very black back in the no, day. No, absolutely, you're right. And then was, they saw that. B-boys. B-boys wear tracksuits. See the pro- See what's happening? They're so far behind. Like they're they're barely just getting like eighties television and shit right now. They, yeah, yeah, they just saw they, ju- DMC, they just they just like, got oh. introduced. They just got introduced to season like like season one. Bill Cosby. Yeah, you know I mean, that's crazy. They don't, they, when they heard about this shit, they were like, "It can't be." No, no, no they haven't heard about this. They haven't heard about this. <laughs> Dude, taking a taking a fucking eleven hour flight is fucking time traveling for them. That they go is over crazy. here. They, talk, they come to the United States. They're like, "What the fuck is happening?" They're seeing like <laughs> all these future cars and they're flying and as they jail, fly, colors start coming in, and they're like, "They see it's my wife, man. She's still not used to it. She's still not used see, to it." They see Bill Cosby old and gray where they come here, and then they come home, and he th- no such information exists. There is not a single <laughs> photo in now. their country of old Bill Cosby. They are firmly convinced he is like twenty nine, man. They, they, he <laughs> they, he is currently twenty nine. They think they're lying. Like, he's old the now. He's here. aged. He's like, no, he's not. I swear, I've seen it. I've seen it. He's and he's Dude, no longer young. I, Throw him in prison. He did some terrible things with pills. We need to. We need to disparaging his name. <laughs> we need to have the balls to conduct a social experiment like this on an entire unsuspecting populace. Like we, we really need, don't need to. We need a like a deserted island completely controlled with like this isolated group of people and then just introduce them to delayed 
like to a delayed version of reality like instead like almost like in a way to like course correct to see like oh man what wouldn't it be interesting to like know what would what would happen you know what i mean if this didn't happen and then you got to track like how that affected that society you know what i mean I like but we it. don't have the balls to like take people away from society and rob them of their basic necessities and their basic human rights in such a way that we'll never know you know it's a shame well we could be brave let's Let's uh let's be brave. I'm going to I'm going to find some I'm going to find some Spanish people and I'm going to be I'm going to like I'm going to like uh, what do you call it? you know how sleeper cells are I'm going to somehow awaken <laughs> that like Christopher Columbus like like blood that's in them and to be like I I just I need I need to colonize these people. Send them down to the Amazon, get those people those indigenous people that still exist and they'll get it done. Because that's the only way. Like they are going to lose, (laughs) because they. Do you not remember how they tried to do that last time? And then the Amazon, not even the people, had to kill them. The surroundings killed them. You're you're right. The conquistadors did very terribly in those environments, but we have modern day technology (laughs) where Christopher Columbus would be so proud to have this shit. Was he Christopher Columbus? Finnish? Wasn't he? Wasn't he Italian? Oh, no. Italian. Excuse me. I said Spanish. So yeah. he was Italian. He was. Wait, no, 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 no. He, he was, was absolutely Italian, Italian. That worked for the British. That worked for the British. No, you're right. I just, I just said queen. Spanish. So like, yeah, yeah, I, I whatever. Admit. It's it's close enough. So whatever. Can, Who cares? So a Spanish conquer, um, yeah, Don Quixote. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Don Quixote, the so Spanish conqueror. Yeah, Don, Don Quixote, the, the Spanish conqueror. <laughs> the formidable so Don Quixote. So so <laughs> the, the totally legendary real person that Dude, conquered the uh, the Amazon. It's or so crazy because like I, I think back to like my childhood and I realized like we had a s we had like a statue of Don Quixote in our house. Like we had Who doesn't? like this. I have, my grandmother had the book on her. She had the book like with golden embroidered letters on the bookshelf. Why? First of all, <laughs> what do you first mean? of all, Okay, first of all, insane question to say who doesn't have a statue of Don Quixote in their house. <laughs> Obviously. Who doesn't who doesn't what kind of I what kind of Latin American, a particularly Caribbean one, doesn't have some sort of like way too nice of a depiction of Don no, 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 Quixote I, in the house? I, 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 Jalen I under- has one too. Yeah. So does Paul. <laughs> no, I, I understand. I just think it's funny that that's like because that's something that I just thought for a while. Like, oh yeah, this must be just something that everybody had. Like when I was that young, I just thought like everybody had Don Quixote. Cause like why like everybody that I knew had it, <laughs> and so like hero. Hmm. he's the, he's a hero of our culture. Yeah, is he real? <laughs> he's, he, that's it. He's the hero. Is he even real? He's he a hero? In that that freaking that um no he's the fortune teller fictional. That come on at like nine Aww. p.m. <laughs> he's like he's like King he's Arthur like and shit, but not. Yeah, 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 he had to, yeah. He's way more kid than Batman. <laughs> he's, like, he's like he's like Robin Hood for 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 the backwater Spaniards. Latinos. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. With, uh, he invented I don't know, Goya. I don't know Spanish. Um, I don't know Spain like actual Spanish fr- uh, from Spain like slang and shit. Yeah, I want to say neither. essay, but that doesn't work. What do That's I do? That's Mexico. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, essay like, what, essay what is I very do? very Mexico. I, I have I no even heard essay once out here. I haven't heard essay once since I lived in California. It's I hear even, no, but yeah. Well, even even essay is like very stereotypical. Like I, I don't even think it was particularly yeah. the essay. So yeah. you'll hear the essays from it's specifically from LA cholos, spe- yeah. like exclusively cholos. And I, I in my area, I grew up around a lot of them. Like they're to the point where I remember being in elementary school, my mom wouldn't let me, but I was trying to get some long tube socks and the dickies. I basically I was like, yo, man, I love their style. Like they got fucking the lokes on and the high socks and shit. And they would walk with this <laughs> this this, the know, this swagger like they were crippled. <laughs> yeah, this like the like, lean. This cripple, like they got wounded in the battle type of like walk. And I was like, man, these fucking guys are so cool. <laughs> I was like ten or something. Vatos are cool, man. I admit it. They're fucking cool. They're definitely cool. They're, they're just, you know, they're kinda crazy, but they're cool. They're, they're definitely really, really One cool. of them. They're crazy enough to the only time that the only time that I've been assaulted in my in my hometown was by a cholo. I, I think I told you guys this. That was it was like four days away from I was going I'm taking off to Greece. I'm like, I'm out of here. And then as a departing gift, this guy <laughs> this cholo asked me for a lighter. I gave him one. Then he asked to use my phone, and I was like, "Oh no, it's dead." Clearly, just lying. And then he just punches me in the face, and I was like, "Yo!" And and the, and the crazy thing is, I was That's holding crazy. yogurt. 
I was holding yogurt and, and like and it exploded all over me because when I got I got like startled from him hitting me, it exploded all over my chest. He like came on you too. He, he came a gallon on like you. He I think came he, all he's over like, me. yo, can I use your phone? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> and then he. <laughs> that would be worse that would be infinity times worse than actually when i got hit because i got lucky that would be crazy i got lucky i have a good chin man i've never been knocked out i've never been knocked out only been rocked one time so i got lucky because if he would have knocked me out he would have just stolen my shit it came on me more, I probably. <laughs> he only got That's one shot crazy. off. Forcefully came at you two more times. <laughs> boom, boom. Is that yogurt yeah. or cum? It cracks in the cement it's, around it's, it's your like body. Somebody, somebody's like, is that yogurt or cum? It's like, ah, man, it's it's both, actually. It's, it's both. It's a little bit of both. It's way That's more all... cum than yogurt, though. And he walk in the room and go take a shower immediately. <laughs> yeah. way in more your cum clothes. than yogurt. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, in your clothes, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, in your clean those you clothes too. There. You gotta get those. You, yeah, you gotta, you gotta figure if you that take shit too out. Too long is gonna harden and it's gonna turn into glass. It's gonna turn into cum glass. So you gotta <laughs> clean the clothes. Cum glass. glass. That's so disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. When you come harden to turn into cum glass. That's the way it works. I'm, I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. What the hell are we talking about? I feel like I we were know, talking man. about something. What happened this week, dude? What happened? Oh, Spider Man, dude. Spider Man dropped Quixote this week. And cum or something. Spider Man. Spider Man did drop this. Drop this week. I platinumed it already, which is kind of crazy. I saw that you platinumed um, me. You fuck. I saw. So the is the game not that long? Because I saw it's not, a lot of people platinuming it that I wouldn't expect long. to do it so quickly. Yeah, I, I I did platinum the first one. To be fair, I don't really platinum a lot of games. So like, Spider Man yeah. is just like I'm naturally just like I can I can spend as much time in this game as possible. So like, whatever. They're I'll, very I'll platinum manageable it. platinums, though. They're very manageable. yeah. They are. They're like, yeah, they're not like I, in fact, I found things. I found this one a lot easier than the last one actually. But um, mm. really? yeah, it's it's it is. I would say on the I played on about the the basic difficulty, not like. Not easy, but not like crazy hard. I, I think it was like, what, what's the default? I played on yeah. hard. I'm playing, what, what's I'm the default? Playing on amazing. I was, I was playing on amazing. amazing. And yeah. I played on spectacular, and that shit is crazy. Is it? There are moments. I, that I, game's not I, easy. I, I, it's not I wanna easy. Wait, game. I want to wait for New Game Plus to, to try that. But the. Mm. um. So it's about, I would say, honestly, you could finish that game in about like. You could finish the story in like 20 hours. Yeah, and, you, and I, pl- I platinumed well. it in about I platinumed it in about thirty, which I think is perfect. By the way, I think that's like I think that is perfect length. That is like I my ideal because like I see so many games where it's like oh man eighty hours and I'm like Ugh, I'm not gonna finish this. I'm just not. I love that. I, I, I do love not that, have. But I understand. I don't have the intention span. Nothing is compelling enough to like keep like it'd be like if a movie was like ten hours. Like all right. Like I, I, I'm whatever. I'm sh- like I'm sure a lot of this is great, but like, what the fuck? I'm gonna sit through ten hours of a, of this, the, the exact it, same it, thing. It, if the fact that you admit that is the thing, like you understand, like I'm not because like Baldur's Gate three is like a, I'm I'm doing everything in the inner city right now. I'm doing every single thing. I'm doing the things with the uh, the nine the nine fingers. I'm doing everything with the fucking um the uh no no the I you see, you're, gonna, you're, you're gonna do everything you're, like you're, you're, you're gonna, gonna mis- like yeah, every see, you, single yeah. thing in the lower city yeah. you're, you're misunderstanding and that by I, itself is like thirty yeah. hours of gameplay all of that right. and I'm like right. Jesus right. Christ so so to me I look at I look at a game like that and I'm like Baldur's Gate or like Elden Ring which Elden Ring I think I could still finish I just fell off it um because other stuff was coming out and I had I to play it was it. a long fucking but, game it's, I, we didn't stop playing it that was the thing. Like yeah, we playing, I, I just didn't stop playing it. I put, I put 100 hours in Elden Ring and I st- and I I'm almost at the end but like what I don't know whatever. It's, it's a lot. the thing It's a lot. But yeah, but the thing to me is like the thing to me about a lot of these games where it's like if something's that long it's like okay, I I'll finish it, but I'm not completing it. You know what I mean? Right. I'm not going to go out that and like sense. I'm not going to 100% a game that's like 80 hours to finish the the main story. Like I, like no fucking way. Like I'm not 100%ing Starfield. Fuck no way. I'm not 100%ing Skyrim, not 100%ing Fallout, like, fuck that shit. But, like, a game like Spider-Man, where it's like, oh, it's a 20-hour story, there's, like, some extra stuff, 30 hours max, 40 if you're slow, that's, that's plenty for me. That's awesome. That's an approachable platinum for me. But, uh, it is shorter, um, uh, it is, uh, it is shorter than the first one. It is, which I don't think is a bad thing. It is, really? Yeah, yeah, the the first one was 25 hours. The first one was 25 hours. So, it's about five hours shorter. Um, but like, 
it's it's really good. I I I wouldn't say it's like I would I would I would highly recommend people play it if you if you're if you have the opportunity to play it because it's fucking dope. A lot of it is really good. The parts that I don't like are really you, like minuscule. If you like Spider Man, if you like Spider Man, if you're really a Spider Man fan, playing don't this play. game will be an awesome experience for you. Nothing. Like if, you, yeah. like if you've been a fan of Spider Man, like if you were like a '90s kid reading Spider Man comics. And all the like ridiculous shit from the '90s is like was your thing. Playing this game is a hundred percent up your alley. Yeah, maybe because there's shit. Maybe cool. I'm not gonna spoil, but there's moments yeah, well, we in this game. Spoil, that maybe go you know what? Maybe like, what you know what? Maybe fuck? when 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 Sweeney finishes it, uh, maybe we'll do like a similar Baldur's Gate thing, where like Sweeney and I will spoil just like guys? fucking yeah. run run through yeah, a yeah, little spoiler. Are you gonna, like, are you gonna play it soon, Derek? Uh, so it's like I said, I don't have a PS5. It's oh, not. Five. There's not enough shit out for me still to justify I buying. I think now it. it's worth it. I think Dude, now the, the only thing that it. I would buy is uh is um um Demon Souls, and this. And to me, that's not enough to buy an entire console. Sp- yeah, Sp- now to be is- fair, uh huh. Good. Well, I was gonna say Spider Man Two is gonna come out for PC at some point, and it's going to be more feature complete than it is right now. Because I will say it's buggy as hell, man. Like it is. It oh, is. Interesting. It is so much buggier than I really ever anticipated it being. Like, there were periods of times where I was like, there's like a fight in like, there's a fight sequence in Coney Island where you're fighting a bunch of people. And I, I knocked people out of bounds. And like, you can only progress if you beat everybody. And like, I would see this guy like across the street in Coney Island. I would try to go get him. And then the game would like push, pull me back. It's like, nope, come back. And I'm like, what the fuck? I can't, I can't finish this. That happened like, eight, that happened to me eight times. I spawned as like a white cube twice. Uh, hair, like, I think Miles' body disappeared. No, Miles' body disappeared. So it was just Miles' floating head walking around talking to people. Uh, That's I've, awesome. Like, a surprising number I didn't, of, I didn't run any of, of those. bugs. I ran into the whole, um, I would do missions and I would just like clip to somewhere and not be able to move. And I'm like, well, I got stuck under a highway once <laughs> doing a, during a car chase. <laughs> There's like the, it's, it's not I went as through stable. Buildings a few times. It's not as stable as the first one. A building. I was like, so too fast. Mm. new game plus isn't in it. So like, it's, there's going to be more stuff on it when it comes to PC inevitably, like in, in probably like what, like True. a year and a half you have to imagine. True. So, uh, I don't know, man. A year you, and a half you would yeah. say? I would say I guess, so. Yeah, they're, they're becoming quicker and yeah. quicker with, with that stuff. I'll get. I'll probably get like because I know what they're gonna do. Some type of slim PS5 or something. They're gonna oh, do yeah. like a, a a new iteration. Uh, I'll probably get that. I just man, I I because like I know what you mean, man. I know what you mean. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and to me, and, and like some other people may completely disagree, but when I look at the PS4 Pro graphics and I look at the PS5 graphics, I just. I just don't care enough to be like, what a what a massive improvement. It's like, yeah, it's a noticeable improvement, of course, but um, a lot of it isn't hard. A lot, a lot of it, a lot of it isn't just like hardware and like what, like well, performance. Not, I guess what is it's it? a lot in performance and like the stuff that can happen. Now. Like, because there are some things oh, that happen things in, in ju- yeah, like specifically with the SSD, because like they do it a little bit in in Ratchet and Clank, the last Insomniac game that they had, where it's like instantaneous like level switching. That's like yeah. really, really taxing on certain PCs unless you have like the like a really beefy, a beefy rig. So it's cool. And there's some missions in this one in this game that do stuff like that. It's I don't know. I, I wouldn't I see, say I if you're not like balls to the wall, like, man, I love, love Spider-Man. Like, I, I wouldn't necessarily be like, oh, run out and buy a fucking console over it. But it's really good. It's it's a solid yeah, Spider-Man game, although the villains are awesome, but they're not even I don't know, man. The, mm. uh, Venom is. In, I, I don't think this is a spoiler, really, but Venom is in the game for like thirty minutes. It's like a really. <laughs> it's it's like yeah, a really. He's in a. He's in a upsetting he's in the game for like. It's not long. Like just not nearly as not, not nearly long enough as they like, should be. Yeah, it's it's for it's a twenty kind hour of, game. He's in it for a fucking. It's fraction. kind of it's kind of <laughs> like, it, like the biggest the like, biggest problem the biggest problem the game has like and we'll get into it in a spoiler cast if we choose to do it is like it's that the pacing is fucked I think. Like it's it's a really awesome story. It's really good, but like there's certain things that really should have a lot more time, and and they just sort of you know what it feels like. Did you play Ragnarok, Derek? Yeah. It you know how Ragnarok feels like it just sort of happens in like like an like really fucking immediately, and there's all this build up to it. It's it feels like it, that. Yeah. Where it's, it feels a lot like that. Where it's like it's not necessarily that this is bad. 
it's just that like there's not enough of it and it doesn't breathe. That's kind of the yeah, that's, that's yeah. really the only complaint but I have. What's about weird it, but. is that for Ragnarok there was the end. For Spider Man Two, it's the it's the end of Act Two. No, no, no you're not. That just believe, goes trust on me. ramps. Yeah, it, it'll. Is the yeah. end? You think it's the end for 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 Spider Man as well? You, you, I, I think you'll be fucking surprised by just how like oh. <laughs> I'm 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 not gonna spoil anything. We, we, but we, I just... Let's let's just move let's just move on. We're, we're dancing around something that we should yeah, okay, we'll yeah, be able okay. to talk about. Yeah. Also, Derek's not yeah. hasn't played it, so it's, 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 it's fun, fun as fuck. I really yeah. I still it. haven't played it. Look, I might just I thought about it. My my because my my roommate says, hey, anytime you want to play the PS5, like go ahead. And so I kind of forgot that I'm like, oh, maybe I'll just buy the game specifically you can rent to it. play it. Um. Oh yeah. You still got about sure. renting. I forgot I about renting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is an option. There's things that yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, you can blow through that in a weekend, dude. Like it's 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 easy. Um, yeah, I might just do that. Anyway, but what what else happened this week? Probably, I don't know. I hate asking uh, that question because oh, it's always the answer is always nothing, and then nothing because <laughs> easy. Otherwise, you wouldn't have to ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then, um, and then real some quick, bullshit. Though, what? Um, I wanted to. I totally forgot. I wanted to. I wanted to discuss this off the air but i just wanted to actually no it doesn't it <laughs> i was just gonna say because i i completely forgot to set this up because um somebody i know they just had a i'll i'll tell you what this is what i'm gonna do if okay. anyone's interested because i just wanted to i just wanted to help my friend out who had a uh, ball cancer surgery i just wanted oh, to whoa. direct them yeah i just wanted but here's the thing i'm completely ill prepared i completely forgot i was supposed to top of the show everything all I'm going to do is, long story short, if anybody wants to take a look at a situation, in the description, I will leave a link if you, you know, if you want to, if you're interested in the story or something like that. that that's all. I just want to put that out there. Um, no big deal. He's not dead, so whatever. It's no, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, yeah. if you can donate maybe two cents, really. That's all, that's all he, that's all I care about enough to give him, like, two cents. You know that nigga stole my, he stole my jacket when we went on a tour? Uh, we did a we did U.S. tour and, and and he was the basis. <laughs> Long story short, we got home. This is a jacket that does not exist anymore. You guys know Big Black Christopher Boykin from a uh, Robin mm -hmm. Big. Mm, so we yeah. had a line in PacSun in the in the mall, and so I bought one of his hoodies. And that line doesn't exist anymore. And this motherfucker's dead, so he ain't, he ain't making any more lines. And uh, so I was like, "Hey man, I left my jacket in the fucking van. Uh, can I pick it up?" And then he tells me. Oh, dude, I threw everything away in the van. And I just, like, what do you do in that situation? Because I'm thinking clearly he's lying and he just took the hoodie. But, like, you also, if you can't, ch you know what I mean? Like, it's one it of those things where you kind of have to. Look what happened to him now. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to him now, dude? You see? You know, what's, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? The only reason why I even wanted to bring this up in the first place is because I had that immediate thought where I'm like, haha, that's fucked up, right? But then I'm also thinking, that's terrible. Let, let I should at least, uh, <laughs> you know, because I don't, I don't yeah. hate the guy. I just, I at yeah, least yeah. want to just mention it. And what if happens, anybody bro? is interested, just check the link in the description. And don't, please, please, do not mention that jacket story. <laughs> you know, you can, do <laughs> you know, you can donate and mention in comments. Please don't fucking say that. That you, 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 you uh, have, more if you give you the dark You back. have never done anything. <laughs> To ensure that is a reality more than what you've just said. No, like you, no, no, just, no. I think you have ensured that that will happen. Yeah, okay, yeah. I feel so like go, the go, sorry, so everybody, your balls. so everybody, go check the description and donate to this, <laughs> donate to this thief. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just, he stole your jacket. Panther stole his ball, bro. That's crazy. I love, I love the, I, I, I love the idea. I just love the idea of him just like, hey, just trying to sell this guy. It's like, hey, man, go like this guy's going through some serious shit. He stole my jacket. Like it's, it's just a weird pitch, but uh, so obviously, weird pitch, obviously but that's a that's a horrible thing. So like uh, anything that uh, no, so we can do to yeah, it is that, that'd be great. I just want I just want to say it is a weird pitch, but that is to be. I would not have said anything at all if uh -huh. I didn't have that thought process. Like if, right. of like you know, I get you. I get hater. I'm like fuck this nigga. He stole my jacket. Who, who cares? But then I'm like, that's terrible. That's a terrible line of thinking. I will try he to. He stole my help jacket, so out. fuck you. Die of cancer is pretty insane. Uh, <laughs> that's that's nuts. Like, yeah. what I was like. So that, yeah, that that's what I was like. Yeah, that's fair. 
Yeah. Um, uh, obviously, so, yeah. the uh, the the. Yeah, so the so check the link in the description for that. Obviously, the sniper wolf stuff is happening. I made a video on it, so you guys can check out uh, the video I did on it. But long story short, it's it's. Uh, I think there's like a little update where. So for those of you who don't know, I mean, we we talked about this on the previous episode, right? Like the sniper wolf Jacks film situation. I'm sure yeah, that we yeah, had a whole episode yeah. revolving around that show. So, um, I just, YouTube demonetized her. And then she was like, yeah, I accept this this criticism or whatever. I accept the punishment. And then she took a lot of her videos and uploaded it to a second ch- channel that was monetized. I think they have since they have since I posted the video, they have demonetized those as well. But that's like, <laughs> the, I, I don't know what the, I don't know what this is. It's, it just seems to be like a game of ping pong now where she's just trying to circumvent any kind of punishment for this shit. I'm su- honestly, I'm surprised is- Instagram. Somebody brought it up in a, in a I was reading the comments on my videos. Uh, on on my video about it and people were like i'm honestly shocked that instagram haven't taken her down from like their platform because that's where all this happened and i'm like that's a good point actually like it's kind of it is weird like the problem is instagram doesn't have that like central uh you know okay so you can go on yeah well what i mean is Okay, you let's say let's say Instagram has an account that says you know at Instagram or whatever the fuck. Uh, you can't just type at the, you can't just po- you have to go on a a post or or reel or in in the comment sections and they're not gonna fu- you know what I'm saying it's so it's so it doesn't look bad at all like say if you yeah. go on Twitter. Uh, YouTube's official uh, Twitter account, and as soon as you see any of their posts, it's just flooded with comments, people talking shit. Like it, it's so much more obvious to be like, okay, we need to do something. People making YouTube videos and stuff. I don't really think anybody's going on Instagram, making a bunch of videos and tagging Instagram or tagging, be like, hey, you guys, you know what I'm saying? So like, there's no, no pressure at all. Like Zuck doesn't know anything about this, or any of his team don't know shit about this. Uh, Zuck's is Zuck's is trying to get ready to kill Elon, bro. He's just yeah, trying to like, murder Elon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Did you hear that Elon? Um, so you know, uh, Tesla is not doing well. The Cybertruck is is hilarious. Like, like as far as everything that's gone on with it, because of how when you see the truck, right? Let's say you can, okay. I don't care if you think it looks cool. Fair enough. But like, you have to be objective about it. That that thing is completely unsafe in oh, yeah, every yeah. way imaginable. <laughs> everything with about it, it being is really steel, bad. Where there's no fucking, there's no fucking, there's no uh, damage absorption, impact absorption from steel. Like old cars are way worse. People don't understand this. Just people don't understand physics. Old cars are way more dangerous than new cars. The yeah, reason why cars can get totaled so easily is to protect you and they take all the force of impact. Like, so a lot of people that get in cars that are totaled are fine. Instead of you snapping your fucking neck off or hitting something to where your head is, you know, I don't need to get into that. But my point being, no, for, no, that, 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 that things, is a point that is a point that is not hammered home. And if I see, so, I've seen so many people being like, man, shit's so shit's built so poorly these days. The cars just crumple. It's like, if they didn't crumple, you would like, you don't understand. Like exactly. those Thank old, you. those old cars, like. Don't they just displace all of the damage onto your fucking body to the point where it's like, oh yeah, your car's <laughs> a little scratched, but now your bones are all in a, a, a way different place than they used to be. Now your cr- whole entire yes. body's outside your windshield in someone else's car. Yeah, you and, and, you, and, and the thing about it is like you only think you're fine because the car inside is like not fucked up. You know what I mean? Like that's well, it's yeah, kind yeah, of fucked yeah. up. Car's fine, and you stand it's up a very, and you fall down. You fall, and then, yeah, and then you can't fucking walk. Dude, I know so many people who like th- like were in accidents in, in those old cars and like they have they still they're still dealing with like shit from that. Like they're still dealing with like, oh yeah, like I'm off balance here or like I've got this pain here that just it doesn't go away. Whereas like, I don't know, man, I've I've seen people walk away from those like really disastrous looking car wrecks where the car is like crumpled and they're just totally fucking fine now. You know what I mean? They might be a little right. stressed out. The car's like a that's probably can. Because I bet psychologically it's probably scary to be in a car that's crumbling around Hell you. Hell yeah. But, uh, I can only imagine. Yeah, but yeah. physically they're fine. But, yeah. I so that I fucking be in psych- a really bad car huh? crash at least one time, like a really bad one. Why would... Like flip and everything. You're so you, fucking... You know what? I want that, like, I want that, that for crazy. you as well. I want that for you as well, <laughs> Kingston. <laughs> yeah, man. I'll drive yeah. Like no, I wish no, you, no, I'm going to survive. I wish you nothing but luck in finding that scenario for yourself. Yeah, the car perfectly fine. Like, look, guys, I'm all right. And then the that, person I hit is just 
<laughs> he looks like <laughs> cyborg. <really> bagel. <laughs> he looks like cyborg. It's crazy. Like, damn, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're gonna be. You're gonna have powers probably, or you're just gonna die real painful. Death. But yeah, dude. That that yeah, Cybertruck. That, that, that for cyber sure, truck, the latter. That Cybertruck looks like um, it's an absolute. Uh, I, it looks like a Halo vehicle, like like a like, a, but like not even like a real does. one. It looks like like a like an Alpha, <clears throat> like a, like a, like oh, this is like the rough sketch yeah. of like what this yeah. futuristic yeah, sci-fi thing. It looks like a Halo vehicle that's rendering. <laughs> it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It totally looks like a rendering that. Halo vehicle. <laughs> the Low skin poly. Hasn't popped on yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, know. Like, yeah, like part of me. Uh, look, I'm not I gonna. This is a warthog. I'm not gonna lie. Like, part of me looks at it and I think like just because it looks so strange, part of my brain is like. That does look kind of cool. I would never want to drive that thing or own it or have to deal with it. But I like, like, yeah. aesthetic, I'll put it this way. If I was like making like a sci-fi world or something, I would probably put that design in, in the fiction somewhere. You know what I mean? Like it looks, it looks yeah. cool enough aesthetically until you start really thinking about like, oh, this is barely street legal probably. Like, no, and it's, it's barely meets the standards in United States. As a matter of fact, <laughs> It didn't, and they had to, like, uh, uh, they basically had to increase the value of the car by by 100% to get it street legal. Because he wanted to sell the car for under, like, $50,000, and now probably they're going to go for around one hundred k once once they're ready. And you might be able to get one next year, maybe. And if you do, it's just good fucking luck, dude. It's just, it's just so, it's such a novelty, unsafe fucking car. Uh, you will absolutely cut pedestrians in half if you hit them. It is <laughs> such a fucking bad yeah, idea. Yeah, it's a complete, it's, it's a complete right angle. Like it's, it's just a, or not a right angle, but like a, like a complete cut edge. cut pedestrians in half. That is crazy. <laughs> it's like, it's that so dangerous. I, I, I really, it's if there's a car that I wouldn't want to get hit by on this earth, it's probably that. It's probably the Cybertruck. Like, I, I can't you're, even imagine how much that would hurt. You're like, just you're, being nudged by odds it. of survivability is so low. <laughs> it's so fucking low getting hit by <laughs> that you thing. Hit, you're like, no, I'm going to get severed. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're just cutting to it. I don't know. Elon, oh, man. I can't, Elon, I, I can't wait to see what happens. Elon gives me hope sometimes because I look at him and I'm like, man, he's so rich and he's so like his instincts are so bad that like it must be like it like he makes it feel like being that rich is not out of reach you know what i mean like there's something about like the like where he is and like where because i i understand that there are certain areas where he's smart it's kind of like i think we were having this conversation in like in um in another episode recently where we were talking about like Oh yeah, like Isaac Newton was like really brilliant, but he but he fucking <laughs> put mercury behind his fucking eyes because he thought that would help oh. him for some reason. It's like there's <laughs> there's like a limited amount of intelligence that people have, and I'm sure like there's an area where Elon Musk is smart, but like in a lot of the areas that he is like full front in like in force of, or like in the public eye or like representative of, I I don't believe those are the things. <laughs> like I think as like maybe he's really I've- good at Sudoku. And that's like people were like, "Whoa, he's really good at Sudoku." Let's like, put him whoa, in a fucking you blood it, dude. Because like, there's so many decisions that he makes that I'm like, just like, this is just like not. This is just a dumb idea. Like, th- like getting rid of circles on Twitter is like a weird idea. Like, I don't understand the purpose of that. It it's it's very bizarre. Um, there's other things that he's done with Twitter too. Like the fact that like the the fact that look, bots are out in full force on Twitter right now, and they have been for like a while now. And I, I have not had a it's, worse experience on Twitter with bots since, like, El- since Elon took over, it's been way worse, like, noticeably worse. And I think most people probably wouldn't notice. Worse. Ma- maybe most people don't notice because they're not, like, uh, public figures in the same way that we are, where we, we get a lot of engagement in that way. We get a lot of messages. But, like, mm. the messages that I used to get were actual people. Like, I'd get, like, maybe one spam account a month. Now it's, like... Every fucking day, it's a deluge to the point where, like, I don't check messages anymore. Like, I- I'm sorry if you're sending me messages and I'm not, like, reading them or taking them into account or responding to them or, or I- it probably seems like I don't give a shit, but I, s- I sincerely just, I can't, I can't be bothered to wade through all of the spam <laughs> to get to the people who, like, are actually saying things because it's so much spam. It's crazy. <sighs> Missing all them nudes, boy. That's fine. Missing on them all those. How many dudes? I have, you know, I got, I got up in here. I got a lot. You got some sick shit up there. You got some sick shit up there. 
Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't need, I don't need the internet at all no more. Old, <laughs> when I look back on my old porn history, I realize how far I've fallen as a person. You know, how far yeah, you've fallen, into, like, or how far you crazy come? shit. Just fall, just fall, fell. I fell. Oh, what do you mean, like, wait, what? Yeah, in what way? Explain yourself. It used to be, used to be like just you know, like real soft core stuff. You know, innocent. What's it now? Yeah. Just turned into just. Yeah, was yeah, it like yeah. What do you, what do we got? What's what's it? <laughs> just vile. Just just, just dudes got? taking rhino pills beforehand. Just like just to just to knock the girl one. You know. Just to just to show her one, and I'm like, that's what is, crazy. What happened is to like, me? Is his eyes like red and shit, and he's just <laughs> he's like, like, like clearly, like, it's clearly just, not his well. Brain is all his brain. It's is just a like, video. It's just a video, this, it's just a video of this. It's just a video of this eight foot is. tall. It's just a video of this eight foot tall guy staring angrily in the camera as his eyes get progressively more red, and you can tell he's beating off 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 screen. But his face, <laughs> his facial expression, his facial expression is not changing at all. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like moving a little bit to j- indicate there's there's some jostling going on, and that's the porn that uh, Kingston watches now. As opposed to before, it was just like oh still God, images of like it was just Sports Illustrated photos or like like Playboy. <laughs> it's so fun, dude. It's so funny thinking about Playboy because I used to think Playboy was like like I like Playboy would be enough to distract me back in the day. You know what I mean? Like I remember right. playing Mafia Two. Almost exclusively to collect those Playboys. Like specifically, I'd be like, "Oh man, let me, let me, let me," because that was a collectible in, in fucking Mafia too. You would go around and collect like vintage Playboys, and there would be like these like just straight up nude nice. photos in this game. And I'm like, "This is sick." It's like this is this is enough for me. <laughs> I don't yeah, even yeah. think I, I sincerely I sincerely don't think I would even do a double take at a Playboy now. Like I don't even think it would remotely get even a. a I, I I wouldn't even notice it. Probably. Yeah, it's too. I don't. I've never been like okay. So I did. Uh, I my because I don't know why there's a lot of old people. F- I don't know in certain households they had like either some type of they had magazines in the bathroom and some people had Playboys or whatever. Like uh, I had a couple of friends, their dads were like that. It was just open in the public, and we're like, oh, this is cool, and uh, nothing like that in our house, obviously. But there was. Uh, the Sports Illustrated, the swimsuit edition. Now, the swimsuit edition was borderline like Playboy. And there was something actually a little bit better than that that I liked. There was kind of the tease of then just some like dumb broad that's posed in a, like in an impossible way that's airbrushed to perfection and all this shit. Where there was a little less of that in the swimsuit edition where obviously it's still fake. But like these are like they're in bikinis and they're supposed to look kind of sporty to a certain extent. There was something cool about that, like the imp- mm. implication of like the implied right. nudity was actually kind of nice. Um, yeah. So I kind of, I kind of double take on that. Like, say for example, if I saw a fucking ploy boy, it, 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 same thing. I would just be like, oh yeah, what, yeah, tits. But then if I'm in like, say, uh, I'm in the grocery aisle, and there's some chick that's like her tits are almost about to spill out or something. I'm like, what's going on there? It's just more of a, I don't know. It's a weird thing. Where I'm just I think like, I know what you mean. Is, I, I get is it. it gonna, yeah. Is it gonna happen? Or it's just gonna get, explode out of her top. <laughs> yeah. It's just if, I need multiple women scissoring <laughs> fountains of squirt coming out their mouths. <laughs> coming out their, their mouths. What are you talking about? Lactating. I need <laughs> women lactating. <laughs> I need them squirting on each other. I need and spitting. I need scissoring. I need I just need very you, you very, need very, <laughs> very graphic excrement from every orifice. Gotcha. I get it. Yeah, if there's a dry, if there's a dry <laughs> orifice, I don't want it. <laughs> that is Saliva, crazy. Piss squirt. I need squirt. all of any of fucking uh beer. What was what are those things called? The beer uh beer funnel? funnels. What are they called when you chug those things? Oh, I don't know. I, I just always the call beers? them funnels. Yeah. Are they called funnels? I don't. Why does I don't know. Wrong. Beer it's bomb, probably wrong, bomb, but like whatever. Beer, beer we're not. Bomb, we're not alcoholic, so like it doesn't matter. Anybody no, who's I, gonna be like, I, I um, it, actually, um, actually, that's called a Einsteinian f- uh, funnel flask or whatever. And it's like, all right, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, we're not. <laughs> yeah, all right. No, no, I got it's, it's a beer. It's a beer bong. But I was gonna say just beer bong. Uh, uh, I learned this from Chappelle's show because I didn't know. Um, putting milk in people's asses. I don't know yeah. why that's a thing, but yeah. I learned that from a. That there was like uh, a specific, <laughs> there was a specific. I think there was like a he was doing like a gay segment or something about like the way that gay people do things versus like regular people, and it's essentially like the gay covers, like just over 
exaggerated, you know, like stuff like that. Where I think one of the guys, his his license plate said ass milk on it. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? Like, what the fuck is ass milk? And then I, I learned what ass milk was by going on the internet. And apparently that's a that's a thing. So, squirting, right? Uh, lactating milk. You get that milk that's lactating, and then you put it in their ass, and they squirt that out. That That's what we're talking about? That type of shit you watch? Imagine so. for a moment, by the way. Imagine this clicking is, on this podcast. Imagine this is your first episode of the podcast. Imagine this is your first episode of this show. For a moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. I don't even know how. I like how something that's so crazy. What? There's this video that I saw on Twitter once where there was this girl, and she put Mentos in her pussy and then poured no. Coke in it. No. That's so stupid. And what's funny is that she did it, and after she, like, spasmed and fell over, she looked so sad. And I was like, you know damn well her boyfriend convinced her to do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know yeah. damn well oh, what he the talked fu- her Of into course. That. Nobody does this shit of their own volition. Like, I could uh, meet, like, my heart went so sad. I was like, he definitely talked her into doing that. She did not want to do that on her own. Now, did you have that information? Did, did you have that, did, did you have that really reaction? Sad. Did you have that bef- reaction before or after you finished? Um, definitely right after. Like, right <laughs> yeah. after. Oh, yeah. Like, I felt like fireworks yeah. came out, and I was just like, dang, bro, I'm walling. Yeah, you're already there. You know, you might yeah, as well. Like, in the fuck, in the moment, you're like, yeah, that's so hot. Yeah, this is then you're fucking awesome. <laughs> I would love to drink soda out of a pussy. Yeah. That's so I disgusting, like man. Though. That, uh, so soda. Like, I can't believe I do <laughs> I cannot believe I watched something so vulgar a few seconds ago. It is literally this could not have been me. I am much sex in general. Than this. Sex in general like is so funny. Seconds ago, it's funny. Sex in general yeah. is so funny because it's just like it's it's it ages so poorly. It ages like there is nothing that ages worse than that, really. Because like it, even sex? Uh, yes, yes, because the dude immediately not a high tier thing. Dude, always. immediately after, it just immediately after, you're just like, oh my, what are we doing? Like what is this? Like this? Like you? Just, it just feels so like you're lumbering away. It's just such an awkward feeling. And then like especially like if it's if you've ever like sexted or, or anything like that or like had like conversations like that over the phone or not over the phone but like over through through messages. It's like Boner the second speak is hilarious dude, when you dude, look the at second, it afterwards. The yeah, when you look at it afterwards, you're like Jesus fucking Christ. This is That's me? horrible. <laughs> it almost, it almost feels like you're. It almost feels. Yeah, it almost feels like you're watching footage of yourself. Um, uh, like just reading those messages, messages back feels like watching footage of yourself, like as a werewolf. You know what I mean? Where it's like <laughs> that is crazy. That like, what drove me to this? Was that me? Yeah. Why would I say that? <laughs> like that, that's why I, I feel bad for. That I, I always feel bad for people who like honestly like this. Is, I mean this genuinely. Like I, I really do feel bad for people when they get. I mean, provided they're not doing like like illegal shit or like morally fucked up shit, right? Like when they get their like sex messages leaked, not that's even photos. Photos, oh. I, I could I could give a shit about because like what the human body is a human body. I could give a fuck, but like those messages, like you, like everybody knows they're gonna. Everybody knows it's cringe. Like from a third person perspective, like there, it's obviously embarrassing to read that shit. Boner. Like nobody, yeah, horny, nobody horny on this planet, not you, nobody it's on not the, you. It's not even about that. It's like nobody on this planet. If if you sent, if you took their like sex messages and like put it out on the internet, no one would sound cool. Everyone would sound fucking deranged or like fucking cringe or like embarrassing and then these poor people are like oh man i that's one thing i yeah, hope to uh, never i i hope to, like i would rather every every naked picture i've ever taken be out on the internet than 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 the conversations that i've had that's you know kind of I mean? crazy but i mean look i get it. i get what you're saying though because it's, so, saying. Much it's so much like, worse than it's so much worse i just like the pi- but i also feel like the there's you can always have plausible deniability like oh i didn't say that like, you know, like, it's easy to Photoshop. I didn't say that shit. What the fuck? Versus, <laughs> like, your penis is just there in your face. You're like, you know, you're well, like, well, oh, now well. You get, well, the, idea, now you the idea of people that with the, the, under, the under picture, the under picture, you know, you take a picture of the under, and then you just have your face in it. <laughs> That's the best fucking picture ever. That's the best. Just, that is great. Your, your, your dick looks like Wesker's arm from five. It's just veins. <laughs> 
the idea that of, is the best the idea of ever. smiling the idea of taking a, a dick picture with your face in it smiling and giving a thumbs up is hysterical like that is so that is, outrageous the fact that i've never done that is actually kind of upsetting <laughs> Just think about it i've never done that before your hogs out bro yeah and Just, you make sure you got rhino you make sure you're as hard as you possibly can be to the point where it kind of hurts and then you yeah. take the picture. And then, Bro, like, I'm like, glad. I'm glad I don't get boners like that anymore. That was young me getting boners to the point it nearly hurt. Brother, uh, you look at. So you got to do this. You got to. I, I I've been I've been telling everybody to do it. I tell everybody to get on TRT. They actually I just do I just this okay I, this just blew my mind. I didn't know this, but you can you know uh, subcutaneous you can inject uh, insulin. You do you you, you do insulin subcutaneous, so, uh, which is uh, injecting into your fat. So your your abdomen and into your belly fat. Uh, apparently, you can do that with testosterone because I always thought it was always intramuscular. You just you just somewhere in your muscles, right? So I understand. So, so you inject shoulder. testosterone directly into your dick. I don't understand. Yeah, I mean, it, there's that's really one of the only places you can't do it. <laughs> there's no muscle or fat there. <laughs> what do you mean? There's no muscle. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your dick muscle, right? I forgot. It's a muscle. Yeah, you know the the yeah the dick muscle, right? Yeah. I mean, My dick yeah, that's it. Excuse sausage. I retract everything I just pure said. So you can, you can do it in your dick. That's yeah, disgusting. Dude, fucking <laughs> put you inject testosterone in your penis, and I I guarantee you, man, you, you're gonna feel like fucking a young whippersnapper with the you the rest of your body is gonna feel yeah, like you're gonna you're feel like a young whippersnapper broken, because but, they're gonna take you to the hospital. They're gonna pump you full of so many drugs. You're gonna feel like you've gone to heaven. That's what that's what he that's what he means. He's like. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. To be Don't do solid. that. Solid, <laughs> solid. You got solid penis, bro. Stone. They call you the Stone Lord, bro. That's Hell how yeah. much this dick you're giving out, bro. <laughs> the the stone, stone Lord. Dude, Stone Lord's actually kind of a dope ass name. I kind of like that a lot. Like, like if, I were, if I were I'm in stone porn Lord now, dude. If I were in porn, my name would be like, like Alex Stone Lord or something. It would just be like something that because people kind of understand what the, the implication like. Oh, my poor name would be Hardy McSuper Hard Hard. Ha- <laughs> what, hyphen with the hard type. Hi- Hardy, <laughs> Mc Hardy McSuper Super Hard Hard. 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 Hardy <laughs> McSuper <laughs> Hard Hard. Just, those girls would be <laughs> terrified of me. <laughs> this, this. <laughs> what about like, can you, is it too on the nose to just be named Throbbing Cock? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's honestly, I'm Hello, honestly I'm a little bit disappointed cock. at how because I dude, I don't OG know, man. Porn shame, is bro. so. <laughs> there's something like there's something. I'm really disappointed that best. porn is so self serious in that way because like you have a lot of you have a lot of like porn stars and their name their names are just like intended to be like kind of cool you know what i mean like uh what is it james james dean you know or, or like uh fucking you know lexi bell or like riley Re- you know they're just they're normal names you know what i mean that just right. kind of sounds stripperish but but porn is so funny like there's so there's so there's so much hilarity in that entire medium that it kind of blows my mind that there isn't a porn star that who's like super famous whose name is just hardy mccard hard or something it is <laughs> that's kind of wild there really it should well, the be. Problem is that's, because, that's the way because to go. Porn because porn has had to fight so hard to yeah. be acknowledged as what it is that you know it's taken on an air of seriousness and it's in its nature. Like whenever, like everything, everything has to fight for it just being the nature of being respected somewhat, and unfortunately takes on a very hard persona because it has to fight for you know the. But basic I think now is the best time for like that. that. But but what I'm saying now is like, it is like we need Hardy Social McCard media or, or like we need like Dick we, McGee. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Penis hyphen man, Dick like penis McGee, man. Like his, penis like his name is penis hyphen man. man. Exactly. <laughs> can you imagine a porn just... star? Can you imagine some lady porn star being like, I'm filming a scene with penis man today. <laughs> like that is so fucking funny. Like, <laughs> it's and awesome. Dick knocks on penis the door man. to get in. <laughs> it just sounds so good. It's so What's dumb. Going, oh, but she's like talking here. so casually. She's so casually talking. Yeah. H- hey guys, today I'm on set with Penis Man. And like, hey, how's it going? I'm on set with <laughs> Penis Man. It's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> he and he's like actually super. Penis. He's actually really he chill. Looks like a penis, somewhat. Yeah. Like there's man. something about him that's penis-like. You can't really explain what it is. How's it going? He's bald, but his head has like a tip. Penis Man. 
Um, <laughs> he's, got a penis, man. he's got he's always wearing the helmet. That's it. He's always wearing the helmet. So, so he looks like he's gonna call him penis man. All right, buddy, penis man. My friends call me. Hey, what's up? It's nice to be here. My friends call me Richard, but uh, you can call me penis man. Um, <laughs> friends call me Richard. <laughs> yeah, pleasure to meet me. <laughs> Oh, All right, yeah, let's, let's get the yeah. questions. Oh, clearly, clearly, yeah, yeah, this episode, yeah. clearly, this episode is completely <laughs> fucked already. So let's just it's uh, completely let's, let's, perfect. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> let's move on to some questions yeah, from dude, from uh, our lovely from our lovely yeah, audience members over at Patreon.com. Of my weight is penis. <laughs> Patreon.com slash uh, Patreon.com uh, slash the Snark Tank. Right, that's what it is. The Snark Tank. God damn, what's going on with you? <laughs> I don't know, man. Dude, I honestly, something's been going on with me lately. Like, I, I think I've, I think I, you know, what it is the last, the last couple days because I've been uh, playing Spider Man Two ferociously to try to get it done before uh, this trip that I was supposed to be going on, um, doing a lot of work. I think I've just overworked my brain to the point where, like, I'm, I'm I feel like this week, I, I definitely feel this week I'm stupider than most weeks, like for sure. Nice. I so. Full full disclosure, we missed an episode. We're gonna get back on track real quick. Uh, you're still gonna get that one episode a week at the very least. But uh, we we missed the second episode last week because I for some reason, and I'm not even remotely kidding, I had a dream that we recorded that episode and then woke up thinking that we had done it. I'm not even remotely kidding. This is a real thing. That's awesome. And it was you know what makes me you know what really makes me sad about it. It was a really good episode. So I was like, I felt like really good about <laughs> it. I was like, about it. yeah, I was like, oh man, that was such a good one. I'm excited to see it. And then like time went on and I was like, and then we just weren't seeing it. Like I just wasn't seeing the episode. And I was like, and then I had to think about like, wait, did that? And I, I, I and then I, I realized that we just didn't record it at all. So you're too well, young to be having those moments. That's scary. That that's no, dementia. That's <laughs> that's preset dementia. Dude. No, you know what you know what? It happens <laughs> it, it always happens when I when I when my schedule gets fucked in the way that it because I've been going to bed at three AM and waking up at like six. So like that's that's not good, bro. Right, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I've I've had like deadlines and all. I've had deadlines and all this shit, and I'm trying to get a lot of stuff done. So like that's that's what happens. That it's whatever. It it'll happen sometimes. Vivid dreams, delirium. Uh, but we'll get we'll get that sorted super quick. But uh, you can get a lot of extra stuff over at the Patreon. If you're over there, we got some extra ammos over there just for the Patreon audience. So you can go check those out. Yeah. Uh, as we talked about today, we're probably me and Sweeney are probably gonna do a. I think it'd be fun to do a, a Spider-Man Two kind of yeah, spoiler discussion and agreed. Uh, chat about it. So uh, we'll probably do that. Um, and yeah, let's let's move on to some questions. And remember, you can ask us questions over at Patreon yeah, if yeah. you if you subscribe. Uh, I don't think you understand the cultural significance of my dick, man. Fuck off, wrote in. It's his name. Wow. You are given a jack or Bluetooth at the party to play something to lighten the place up. What do you play? I'll take the opportunity to shamelessly shout out one of my favorite albums, Trick of Technology by A Skills and Crafty Cuts. I mean, that sounds fake as fuck. That does not sound like a real album you to me. You sound like a hipster. What is that this? That does not sound like a favorite cut real. is like cool. your, your favorite cut. Look at look at I I got to say so. I got to why why are people's favorite cuts always the most obscure shit? Like I I just feel like can't you can't you just give a human answer? Can't you just give like a fucking, you know, Hey, I know, I I know that it's just a safe answer, so you can seem like you're not a fucking alien. Because I feel well, like the thing that's is usually, this, right? It's most like, people's favorite songs. Yeah, go ahead. Are like invoked. You know, it's, it's it's you can't you can't make you can't make something not your favorite. You know, it just happens. No, look at this is what look at this is this is what I'm saying is so just like with uh, I mentioned this once before when I got introduced to the punk genre, people are trying to impress me with their deep cuts. And it's not the yeah. deep cuts that you want to introduce somebody to. So it's kind of like you can kind of just obscure the truth a little bit with something like it's like this is my favorite artist, but this is something that's a little relatable too. So I can at least have an understanding of what you're even talking. What you told me, Chris, I can't even what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know I don't know. I don't, I don't know any but but here's the thing about that though. It's like these people these people are so obscure. Like we I don't know who these people are. I've never heard of A Skills, Crafty Cuts. I have no yeah. opinion on them. Yeah. But God, bl- God bless you, uh qu- question guy. Uh, it's all Yeah, good. yeah. You're not gonna say his name again. It's insane. That'd be insane. But <laughs> so he uh the thing about these guys is like this could be like their most popular song for all we know, you know what I mean? 
because we don't, we don't, we don't know them at all. This this that could be a like very the, good this point. could be the least hipsterish amster answer for this artist. It could be the equivalent of being like, Damn, oh yeah, I love Michael shit. Jackson. Have you ever heard? Like have that. you ever heard Billy Jean? You know, this could be like their <laughs> Billy yeah, Jean, yeah, where like yeah, yeah. it's it's the only thing by them that anybody knows. But um, you know what? Damn, that's I retract real. my statement. Look, I, let me. Uh, what, what was the name again? The, <laughs> a a <laughs> dot skills and dot crafty skills? cuts with K's. Okay, crafty cuts. I got crafty cut peaches. I don't know, man. Crafty We're getting sidetracked. Cuts. We're getting sidetracked anyway. Um, this is this is not no. this guy's favorite album. Fuck this guy's favorite album. In fact. Ah, that's mean. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting really angry at the audience. It's uh, You know what it is? It's because some people have been like, some people have written in, they're like, we're, you know, hey, you know, this is the last, um, this is the last time I'm going to be able to support you for a while. I've got money issues or whatever. And I don't respect that. Uh, we're going to take the podcast away from you. We're going to take the, if you, if you <laughs> subscribe to us and then you do not rejoin, we will you you're not you're the free feed is gone from you like it's it's gone you you lose your rights to it sorry like it's just how i feel the f- the idea of you being like <laughs> no no one can have it now and okay. just completely getting rid of the podcast is crazy that would be fucking right, so insane. six people can't Hold pay up. for it you're like well guess what you fucked everyone no free feeds anymore <laughs> like, <what? laughs> yo yo so, so um crazy. a skills okay yeah a skills and crafty cuts not bad. It's like some uh, th- there's a there's a there's a group called Cunning Linguists. They're like of course underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so they're they're underground. Some semi conscious hip hop, but that's just old. You know, they're it has a, ser- a similar vibe of that. It's like an underground kind of vibe. Maybe you'd like him too if you're kind of into the uh, to what's the fucking uh um that nigga that that's always uh, with the gorillas and shit. I don't know what the hell that that is he what is he an actual gorilla you know the guy that raps I don't know if he's <laughs> Oh my god. You know, you know what's crazy? Mind? You know what's crazy? I, I like I felt it coming. Like I felt like it was like it was like a spider sense and it got like red and I chose not to parry. He's I chose about not to, be to racist. Dodge. He's I, about to be racist. <laughs> and I thought I'm gonna let it happen. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna stop this. What, but, do, you, what, do, you, what do you consider underground hip hop, Derek? Like what like what, what like give I me cons- a rapper you consider underground hip hop, right? Well what Other do I than consider- Tech Nine. So what uh, I consider Freddie Gibbs. I don't really consider Absolutely Tech not. Nine. I don't. Con- <laughs> <laughs> I don't consider Tech Nine underground anymore. I think he. I think since like 2008, he just went completely mainstream. Like his. Yeah, Tech he, Nine is he, not hasn't been underground. He for never a long time. like. He kind of like ascended. Like he kind of like doesn't I, have I that vibe anymore. I consider Tech Nine very underground, but really, I, he's crazy. Really no, he's not in, with time, I tell in the sense that he's been an underground rapper since like '89. That's right. Why. I just I feel like once, I agree I though he's after more mainstream. KOD people know about him out, now. Like after KOD came out, I feel like he's not. It's it just he kind of went in a completely different direction. Where, um, and then what was that other one he did? Because he he did like because I mean, do you remember that fucking that 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 Halloween song he did with the uh, Hobson and fucking uh yeah. what's that idiot's name? Bob. That fucking oh man, <laughs> is it like it doesn't that wait? Isn't that the flat Earth guy? Bob. Yeah. Yes. Flat Earth dude. Fucking. <laughs> stupid retard. That's how I. You know what's crazy about Bob? Yeah. That's how I know him. <laughs> you don't you even know, know him from like uh, did the, the airplanes Williams? with the uh, Haley Williams? Yeah. Oh yeah yeah okay yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. Look, I, I, I mean I mean I mean I, I need to clarify by name. I, that's how okay. I know him. Like I, I'm right. sure I've heard his. I'm sure I've heard okay, his. Heard a couple of. Well, he's only by the way. Two songs. By the way. So, yeah, yeah. By the way. Quick thing. Before, we yeah. can go right back into this. I just want to clarify. I was simply. I was joking about taking podcasts away from Fifi. <laughs> <laughs> I only say that. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I say that. The reason I clarify that. I understand that I shouldn't have to, and I. I really feel like on some level I don't. I feel like our audience gets us in that way. But at the same right. time. On sacred symbols, we had like three people leave the their that Patreon because they were convinced that I spoiled the ending to Lies of P, because they were talking about like, oh man, the ending of Lies of P is so good, and I was like, yeah, you fight, uh, you fight Walt Disney at the end, <laughs> which means, which means there, are th- <laughs> which means there are three people who genuinely thought like, man, fuck these guys. They spoiled this game that I was playing. Was <laughs> he like a, a spider Yo, that fucking is mechanical spider that with is a jar head? Be- that is unfucking believable. 
That is so unbelievable. That yeah, is, it was actually it was, actually it was actually it was actually only one Patreon exit and like I think like one comment and one tweet. But it was like three people thought that we had spoiled you the fuck. game. I can, oh, you can, yeah, <laughs> to think that. Imagine Walt, believing. Imagine believing that like Walt. Di- like, oh yeah, they just put Walt Disney at the end <sighs> of this fucking Walt like Disney the person. Pulls up. He pulls up out of smoke. <laughs> he just shakes the ice uh-huh. off of him and shit. And it's him. You fight him, and then like his little creature falls out from the sky, and it's like Mickey with this big ass serrated blade. Pinocchio doesn't and even have fight any. Fight them both the, at the same time. The thing, the and thing Mickey's that bothers fast me, and Walt has heavy hits. The thing that bothers me about it is like I thought it was such an obvious joke because Pinocchio doesn't have anything to do with Disney. Disney made a Pinocchio movie, but Pinocchio is a fucking fairy tale that has yes, nothing. It's like there's all nothing of old Disney shit. <laughs> yeah, it, it would be. It would be adaptation. like. It would, it would be like it would be equivalent to to um talking about Norse mythology and being yeah. like, oh man, they fucking spoiled the recent Thor run. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> These are <laughs> Thor, first and foremost, Thor in in Marvel's a blondie. Thor in mythology's famously a redhead. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. Ragnarok, Ragnarok did a pretty a good job with Yeah, he's uh, a ginger redhead rapist. And yeah, that's rapist that's, drunk, and they'll like yeah. it's a pretty good Dude, job. He ki- it's on several occasions he would get <laughs> drunk at people's at humans parties and get too rough and kill them, bro. That is yeah, hilarious. So like you're, you're, on, <laughs> you're on sacred symbols, right? And you're talking about Ragnarok, and you're like, man, I can't I can't believe uh, Kratos was about to go in for the killing blow, but then Thanos stops you. He stops. Yeah, yeah. Did he have to fight that? I, <laughs> I thought it was. Like, I, I what really. The fuck? It, it, it really is. It really is. <laughs> It really is an equivalent level, you know they what I mean? Where it's like stomping. I hate Chris. I <laughs> hate him. Fuck, man? So no, the ending of Lies of P. When he's on the episodes, he spoils everything. So the ending of Lies of P is not, in fact, Kratos. <laughs> the ending of Lies of P is, in fact, not Walt Disney. Although Lies technically, although technically, that's a spoiler because now you know that the ending now is not something. It's, now it's not. not him. Yeah. Now yeah. you know it's not. So it's like, Chris damn! Did, I was really Chris looking did. forward to not knowing that Walt Disney was not at the end of Lies of P. <laughs> so no. Chris, stop talking. Just stop talking. You're making things worse. You're you know right. what the funny thing is, uh, if if he was if Walt Disney was actually the main boss of Lies of P. I would have bought it immediately. I would have. That, that's actually a spoiler that would be like, wait, I get to. You would have sensed Walt out Disney? the bullshit, Derek. You would have been like, oh, wait, wait. No, but like, if he, <laughs> <laughs> I would so fast be like, I get to fight. fight. That is so stupid. It's like, it's like, it's like Hitler being the main boss of like fucking like a wolf at start. Like when you hear, when you hear, when you're like, I need to. I need I need to fight Hitler. Like well, I that need makes to, sense this, though. That yeah, actually does, makes sense. It does in that make context. sense, but but in a um, I'm thinking of which one? Which what game was it where Hitler is like? It's not Hitler. It is Hitler, but he's like ridiculously like uh, he's like a machine or something. He's like a oh that was uh that was the original Wolfenstein. I think you fought like the, mecha, the mecha Hitler. Yeah, you fought yeah, mecha yeah, Hitler in, in the okay. original yeah, Wolfenstein. Like spider arms, right? Yeah, like spider legs, right? Yeah, it was like so. That's what I was picturing Walt Disney looking like, kind of. <laughs> yeah, and so, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I will like say, man. Like that. Um, I will say, Liza, Hitler. like we don't talk about we don't talk about other games outside of the ones that we're kind of like always talking about on the show a lot. But yeah. Liza P, really good. Looks like good. I, like I would I would actually write like if if it's it's the best souls like game that I've ever played that isn't straight up from software it's it's super fucking good and the ending is actually really fucking crazy mm. I would say it's that absurd but it is like oh that's nuts uh you get you get to play as Pinocchio in it you Pinocchio is that thing you yeah you are Pinocchio yeah does he ever say the n word yes every single he time so. he says I'm not every, racist. Yeah, and then he can kill you with your no- with racist. his nose. Well, well specifically, an well, well, and he well, stabs you. <laughs> well, specifically, Jiminy says it more often than yeah. anybody else. But well, Jiminy's black though. Jiminy's black, and Jiminy, not in this one. No, Jiminy is, <laughs> is in this one. Jiminy's a plantation owner. He's always well, Jiminy Cricket. No, Jiminy Cricket's black. If you Jiminy I say Cricket, so, wish the plantation, upon my plantation owner. We need That's to move on. Crazy. This guy did not. Just right. Oh wait, did we didn't even answer this question. Dancing. No, we didn't answer. We, we didn't answer this question. So uh, thanks for well, writing I'll in. I'll put on Dance Macabre. Dance Macabre by uh, uh by by Ghost. That's a that's oh, a stay bop. the night by stay the night by Zed and Paramore or, or Zed and Zed and Haley Williams. Uh, oh, yeah, the uh, um. 
the Spider-Man theme from the '90s cartoon. <laughs> Spider blood, inward blood, radioactive inward blood. The Spider Man, the guitar riff, bro. That's so fucking good. I look at the end though when it just starts wailing. Spider Man, Spider Man. I'm like, God damn, this is going way too hard, dude. The shows from that era, man, just had really awesome theme songs for no reason, and then they stopped. Like that, that the X Men, the X Men theme is fucking killer. X Men theme is the best. I think it's better than Batman's theme. People argue me with that, but I think X Men is better than Batman's theme. It's it's. You, there's such it's different themes though good. they're going for a very di- it would be like kind of yeah. it would be like comparing i don't know it would, it would be like comparing like final fantasy 7 to like power rangers like i i mean th- those are th- you know what i mean like it's those are both pretty amazing but like yeah. they're very different they're going for very different things i feel like x men and the batman theme are very those are top tier but i love We're the really x obs- i have a fondness for the here's how you know the x men theme is great i don't give a fuck about x men and I, that's probably my favorite theme song ever from like Marvel. Anything. You know, what really it makes is so upset? good. Like, I wish when I was younger, Dude. they had the like really great. rated R, the really hardcore um, the Power Rangers comic books, because I would have bought the fuck out of them when I was little. But that would have been dangerous because kids would have been really hurting each other. Because back that like the modern Spider Man Power Rangers comics, it's kind of fucked. It's kind of kind of fucked up things back then they were like oh trini we're gonna go hang out with the asian girl trini today or go ahead um zach dance yeah. but N- now N- it's just like tommy goes back to the past and kills zordon and like kills a beats a bunch of women and i'm like nice oh yeah Good like job, say like tommy. uh yeah 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 the, the shattered uh, whatever it was called the grid and whatever yeah. uh do um the, the thing that's okay is it's so it's so fucking obvious that the, the only people reading the comics are grown ass adults like my age, and yeah. the one thing I don't understand is why they're not doing that with the shows because like say they just dropped a new one and I watched one of the episodes because like oh Billy Cranston's in it you know uh, David Yost mm-hmm. uh, the original Blue Ranger and I was like oh let, let me check it out it's it's so fucking awful like in a it's so awful with like it's still like it's made for kids but you know only people my age are watching it. So it's like, yeah, why not it's, just? You know what it is. I think because th- a lot of things that derive that were derived from comics are now very popular in other mediums, more popular than they are in comics. So a lot of, like, I I, I don't think kids read comics anymore at all today. Like, I I just don't think yeah, that's happening. Really. With I don't think kids do that. I think definitely I not much. It's, I agree. It's for it's for it's for the twenty uh, the twenty it's, the mid twenties and up. It's for us mid twenties yeah, and up. Like, like I, I, I mean, maybe maybe I could be wrong. Like maybe there are some kids. I'm there sure there's probably like kids, some, but they read I'm manga sh- now. I'm sure there's some nerds reading comic books out there. I'm I'm certain, but like I don't I don't think it's I don't think it's as prevalent as it used to be in the same way for the same ages. Like I Definitely think now not. because now, dude, like I'm not gonna mm-hmm. I'm not gonna pretend like I know Spider Man from the comics. Like I know Spider Man from the video games and the TV show and the movies. That's uh, that was my introduction to Spider Man, and that was my introduction to most mm-hmm. things because I just didn't really read comics. And I would imagine right. that especially nowadays, I have to I have to imagine that like kids probably just don't even have the fucking attention span to even sit sit and read a comic. People Generally can't read, speaking. man. People don't sit down and read anymore. I've, Dude, I've said it a little while yeah. ago. Yeah, and a lot I don't. of people that argued with me were like crazy. And it's like, I know you. Based on the way you guys comment on things on Twitter, I know y'all niggas don't read shit before y'all <laughs> fucking say stuff. Like, there's no way people can <laughs> comment things. So, dude, some I was I was talking about Sp- um, Spider Man and Twitter, and some nigga was like, we were talking about like how uh, culturally how culture can you know helps characters. You know, it's not the but only more important for Hector, but it helps characters. And some nigga was like, "Well, Peter Parker's Jewish," and I was like. No, the fuck he's not. When has Peter Parker been Jewish? I yeah. think there the are Jewish white. N- there, there are no Peter Parker's and I. He's I never remember specific. I'll, I'll put it this way. I remember specifically there were certain incarnations of him that had lines that were like, "That's weird for somebody who isn't Jewish to say." I don't remember what exactly they were because I he, don't care. There, there is, but there's uh, only one time I remember someone saying something like that. It's when it's in the movie where in, um, in Amazing Spider-Man One where he's going through signing the thing. And he looks through all of them and he passes up all the ones. And the last one there is Jewish. And people thought he was going to sign that. And I was like, no, no, he's been, he's literally Catholic. He prays to God constantly. 
and it's not the Jew God. No offense to that. Uh, it's a Jew God. Official no Peter has Yahweh. officially Peter has no religious identity. Perhaps Christian or Catholic, if you stretch him being in uh, in Christmas issues. Although the implications in the comics have also implied Peter is Jewish, or at the very least ethnically Jewish, on one side of his family. Which I could see that. I could see. I could see that being true. That makes that makes more but, sense. Um, That's fine. Was, yeah. But whatever, who fucking the thing cares? Is that Jewish, the thing about Peter Parker is that, and this is a good thing, but a not a good thing, is that Peter Parker is supposed to be every man. I thought he was Muslim. Jewish is not every man. Jewish people are Jewish people, so they would not have done that. Because they're like, oh, I can't. I, well, that, that, that doesn't, make, like that doesn't make sense at all. Wait, what are you talking about? That has nothing to do with every man. He's supposed to be an every, he's supposed to be an every guy. Is, is Miles Morales like not supposed to be an every man like, as well? I feel like Miles Morales way. is supposed not to be an every man. Peter. And, not in the same way, but like that doesn't Miles mean he's not an everyman. Miles is supposed to be the modern everyman, where every person now has multiple cultures and they're more than one thing, and there's a lot going on with them. You know, like they have a heritage of where they're from, opposed to what they that are. Was, like, that was, that's not new. It's not a like white, a new thing. No, but that's not how Peter was. Peter was for that times everyman, and now there's every man from the world that we kind of exhib- exhibit now. Like Miles is for like younger kids who are like. Oh my! My dad is from fucking Tibet, but my mom was born in fucking my Peru, and dead. we live in New York. Stuff like that, kind of. He's like the modern, like mixed up kid. Every person. Yeah, my dad yeah. I mean, uh, I don't it's know. A little I, different. I, it's a little different. They're still similar in that manner, though. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Where, where's my, my dad? Will never have a yarmulke. <laughs> <laughs> never that never that he's, don't ever he's, do that shit to me he's very clearly bad at managing his money so that's kind of a strike against that um, Steve Rogers is Irish and if you make him anything else I'll flip the fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> if they make Steve Rogers anything other than Irish I'll flip the fuck out <laughs> yeah I don't I don't know Jewish Captain America my balls hell yeah dude <laughs> like, like fucking Hasidic too He's got the curls and shit. <laughs> he takes out his hair and it's just blonde <laughs> curls that fall down. And I'm like, That'd be awesome. Yeah. No, but yeah, I, I think I think a lot of people are introduced to these things through like TV and, and video games and other media. So like, I think I think that the source material that like only people who have grown up with it really are attached to it should probably grow up with them. I think I think you should. There's no reason why there shouldn't be like. There's no reason why there shouldn't be like some. Um, some wild Powerpuff Girls comics. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, or or I, some I, nonsense I think, like that. I think the, right. the problem with Americans is that Americans, we have gotten to the point where we don't, we don't stop shit. What are you we talking let about? let things go on too long. We're just like, let's just, let's just keep this character in rotation still. Let's just keep the same character. Just, well, that's not like, just America. That's that's Japan. No, 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 that no. Well. America started it. Now Japan copies it too. Japan's like we no. Can do I it think better. Japan's the, Japan's always been doing that for as long as they've been doing it. The issue is like we we really kind of fucked them up a little bit. So like they had a, a bit of a restart because they had to. But like everything yeah. that reboot them. <laughs> yeah, but like every dude, a stern it, reboot. <laughs> it's really cr- it's really crazy when you think about like how much of Japanese culture originates f- like <laughs> specifically like modern. Like popular Japanese culture originates from 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 that era of just like hey you know it's like it's all nuclear era stuff like fucking Godzilla is still is still kicking yeah yeah and, he, and he's literally just crazy, a bomb he's just the bomb if the bomb was a lizard literally <laughs> that's like his <laughs> entire bomb, premise it's just the, it's the it's the effects of the bomb in a being <laughs> that's it but yeah no dude I, w- like, I would damn dude I would. Uh, I, I would I would Shouldn't play that I would first, I would I, I would say. play I would play the the '90s Spider-Man theme on I, I would play a three-hour loop of the Spider-Man '90s theme. Shouldn't have swung first. <laughs> what I'm saying. Inward blood. Let's they relax. Blood. Radio active. Inward blood. All right, let's let's chill. Inward man. Uh, man Jax, man, man, man. Jax Zero's <laughs> GT <laughs> wrote in. <laughs> I haven't read this question, <laughs> so I have no idea what this is going to be. I'm just gonna read <laughs> it. Good. Hello there, Drone, Sergeant Johnson, and Brute. I've been an avid listener since episode zero, and while severely overdue, I decided to finally pay the tithe to my worthy. Let's go. To worthy. My question for you is what sort of absurd guest character would you like to see in a game? I'd, pr- I'd be privy to having Mario Jude as a multiplayer character in Gears. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking. I could see that too. Because is he he's like, like one of the. Is he one of the like the cogs, or is he in the swarm? He's just in the. <laughs> the I like how you said the he's swarm, like to modernize it, because he's not there. Because the locusts aren't there anymore. That's so funny. <laughs> the idea of, oh my god, the idea of of Mario Judah in the swarm as like a as like a 
<laughs> like a, a a battle chieftain or something is insane. I'm a big dog, big bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. He's oh, extremely man, difficult. Man, or Daniel you know, Larson I, in Mortal Kombat. Da- <laughs> yeah, okay. I would love I would love oh, to I'll, have I, Mario Jr. in Mortal Kombat would be fucking amazing, actually. That'd be cool too. I would love to have Pinky and a brain in Mortal Kombat. Pinky like together, and brain. <laughs> <laughs> and, so and I would also really love. Dude, their hitbox really would be so fucking annoying. It's like the serve bot. Serve bot. In fucking yeah. I was about to say. <laughs> and then who else would be another crazy one? Like, um, I don't know, I man. Someone that would be good for Smash. I want George Costanza mm. in Bayonetta. I, I want I want <laughs> I want George Costanza to to like because he's bald he has like less hair to work with so he's like dressed more skimpy, but yeah. he has to fight in the same way. No, oh he has man, to fight, he has to he has to fight with his hands only, and he has to get creative. And there's moments where George does shit that like people are just like, "Yo, what the fuck." <laughs> Diabolical. You know what they should have done? Bashing one of the angels or demons' heads into. So, uh, did they say what country Resident Evil Eight took place in? Because I know it's like Eastern Europe, right? Something like that. Yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? It was somewhere in Europe. I guess it's just vague. I mean, because it was obviously Spain and and fucking yeah four. Uh, but like I I, I didn't. Africa and five matter, but and uh, in South Africa, yeah, (laughs) Yeah, the country of Africa. It was South Africa. (laughs) Fair enough. Yeah, it was South Africa, Africa. and then um. The country of Africa, and then uh, so well, who's the president in, of yeah, Africa? Hmm. <laughs> uh, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> obviously Obama. Who the fuck else would it be? It's obviously Obama. I wanted to say Nelson <laughs> Mandela, but that doesn't seem right. The um the Mandela effect got me again. Nelson. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Barack Mandela. Uh, whatever. I don't Barack know what country Obama that is. Mandela. I feel like it's like Slovenia or something, or or like some something. like something was, something like that. I just wanted to put like, cause uh, I know Mr. D- uh, Dikovic, he's like Ukrainian or something. I was just trying to like squeeze yeah. him into that game somehow. Like I just want him to be it's antagonizing funny. you. It, it really is kind of like I wonder how they feel about that. Like because. It really is just sort of or something. You know what I mean? Like whenever it's a character like that, it's it really is like yeah, D- Mr. Ditkovich, He's like Eastern Europe. He's like Slavic or something. Like it's yeah, it's never like, like Slovenian or Slovakian or like from the ball. You know what I mean? Like from the Balkans and like a specific place. It's always like just or meh. something. Yeah, it's like, yeah, something like that. Whereas, like, <laughs> I'm all... Mexican, or like, I'm like Puerto Rican, or I'm Dominican, or like, you know, I'm uh, Japanese, or I'm Turkish, and I'm so Eastern many European. In that little pocket of Europe. Something. That's why <laughs> I know. There's so many but... countries right there. I mean, I will I know, say yeah. there are a couple that I actually get reminded that they're even there. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, that is a place, dude. I <laughs> only know. Are, I only know. I only know about Slovenia because of Barbara. Like sincerely, like I, I don't think I would have ever learned yeah. about Slovenia otherwise. You've heard of probably Slovakia, but never Slovenia. Never Slovenia, and, she, and she was like, oh, exactly. "Yeah, I'm from Slovenia," and I was like, "Oh, what's that?" <laughs> like I just didn't know. I, I straight up had have no nukes? fucking clue. Is they that have the nukes? one? That... Do they have nukes there? Huh? Do they have nukes in that country? Probably, uh, probably not. Probably not. So they don't yeah. matter. So, so they, they don't so they matter. Don't ma- that, that is, is crazy. food for us to take one day. One day we're <laughs> like, hungry, we're going to take them. Most countries don't have nukes, so... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so and most countries don't matter, bro. Uh, you right, know what it enough. is? Every, every country, every, <laughs> They're like, dinner nu- on our plates. <laughs> nuclear, nuclear weapons are like a reserved sign on like an empty chair. We're like... Yeah. The U.S. has a reserved sign on it. China has a reserve sign on it. Russia has a reserve sign on it. Everything that doesn't have a nuke is like I'm. Maybe my cousins are gonna sit there one day if I if I so fucking do, if I so choose. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who fucking like, cares? Get up, kid. You walk up to a kid and lunch table. Get up. This is my seat. This is my seat. I don't want to. You pick him up and you throw him. <laughs> <laughs> like that guy who got thrown over. Come here, Israel. Come here, Israel. Sit right here. Come here, Israel. That guy, sit right that, here, guy, that guy shouting to that black dude, I'm not. when he says, I'm not even going to say the word, you fucking black person, and he gets thrown over the Burger <laughs> King counter. It's one of the funniest. Sick as fuck. I know. That's what's so funny about it. That's it's what's the it's same like, thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> everything. Even if you called somebody, if you said literally, quote, 
the N word. You N word. Um, it is all implied. It is a derogatory. Like you are black is derogatory. So it doesn't it, matter it, if it you is, say black it, person. Yeah, it, it is with it's the N word. You silly it's the, black. Get out of my, it's the, my, it's the venom. Black. It's the venom <laughs> yes. that is the most important thing. It's why the word right. is very secondary to me. It's like it's if you, why, for like me, literally it's, put for up me your middle the, finger and it drives people nuts. If you can, you look, do here's this the thing. and then people if, get fucking angry. Dude, yeah, you know it, what's crazy? For a period of time when I was younger, I don't know why. I don't know why. Every time I would do peace, sometimes I do the middle finger by mistake. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it was because your brain is fucking me. stupid and brain. You know what it is? Son about my little mind. I'd be, like, like, I'd be like, I'd uh, be like, my friends uh, would be like, have a good one. I'd be like, <laughs> you just, they'd be like, why did you do that? You know what that is? That's that, that's uh, that's seven year old Kingston sleepwalking and eating the paint chips off the wall, and then waking up <laughs> not understanding the difference the difference between peace and middle finger, and nobody knows why. It's like why is Kingston why, why is Kingston misunderstanding hand signals, and why is the wall getting like really weird? <laughs> What's going why on? Is, why are they waking? They wake up at fucking, nighttime. Why is Kingston on the wall? Why is he literally on the wall eating? <laughs> Just can, dragging can your I ask, down the wall. Can I ask if this is a universal? <laughs> so, <laughs> like a beaver. <laughs> you want to know something crazy? I was thinking about something the other day that kind of blew my mind, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're like, oh, man. <laughs> So the thing that the thing that makes us all people, right? The thing that makes us human, really, as opposed to just like a yeah. fucking like primate or like like some our, a similar kind dicks. of monkey, right? Right. Is our uh, yes, right? Our phalluses. But outside of that, my um, fucking fat dick, <laughs> my fat phallus. <laughs> now the uh, it's our shared experience as humans. Like we all have like the experience of like oh man, being sick and then vomiting and having to clean it up, or just like even just like something simple of like daydreaming in like the backseat of a car you like look and you like I, I would imagine specifically like as we were driving like spider-man and i would like do like a like a like a little running guy like this like uh over mountains and stuff like that i did you guys ever right. like crawl a wall by putting your hands on both yeah you know what i mean like have i ever and, like, done kinda, that right and like try to get as high as you can like with your hands and feet like in a hallway um, of course. I, I've always wanted to do that, but I think like the opportunities never came up. Like say the walls weren't too uh, close enough together or whatever. Really, never, not even in like a doorway or something. Um, uh, but the doorways are so fuck. Like my, our doors are so fucking. Um, I didn't have high ceilings in my house, for example, growing up. So that would be like a two second task. <laughs> you would just right. go and then like, okay, <laughs> I hit my head. Whoa! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was thinking, um, so was like, yeah. I, was, I was just thinking because like. Little no, that like, is mid- fun to do. Midgets just... and little pe- little people will never be able to do that. <laughs> no, they will. It'll so take true. longer for them. They just need no, they, stilts, they can't. Man. Their arms can't. <laughs> they, they, there's no. They can't. You like... got to put them straight up sideways. You got to put them straight up sideways. <laughs> then they can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'll buy some stilts, like one foot stilts, and then buy long pants and see if anyone buys that. I'm like, oh shit, bro. You get like grabbers stilts. You get like grabbers too. And you walk around and you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like six six right walking. <laughs> I'll see if anyone believes me. But like, yeah. if I, I like, Derek, why is that nigga so weird? You, you will get shot and killed, Derek. Someone will shoot and kill <laughs> you if you do some shit like that. Derek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at like a fucking T Rex with that leg to arm ratio. Though at a certain point, <laughs> you ever see that episode? Of the, uh, the, there's a Treehouse of Horrors of the Simpsons, and all the billboards come to life, all the advertisement. So they're all like terrorizing the city, and then uh, there's a really fucking tall guy just coming out of a out of a convenience store, and then Chief Wiggum just shoots him, and he's like, "Ah, these monsters aren't so tough." <laughs> he's like, "That's just the captain of the basketball team." <laughs> and so fucking, and he's just, you know, he's probably like just like six something, and he just kills him. <laughs> I so he was a funny. monster. That's awesome. <laughs> like, all the other Chief Wiggum are like such fucking a funny fucking stories tall, dude. and it's so funny. <laughs> Chief Wiggum is a funny character because he's just the I- he is just the idea of the most incompetent police officer ever. He is the personification of a dumb pig for sure. <laughs> and like he so even had the pig him just exist in that world. These monsters aren't so tough. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I really that. do. I, I have to say, like, as much as The Simpsons, like, I missed out on it. Like, I, I the voice work in it is so good. Like, I, like, like a lot of it is such pitch perfect. Like, I, Chief Wiggum's voice is perfect. It's great. Yeah, it's, it's, it is absolutely. Yeah, it's really <laughs> absolutely. It. It's a good show. It's yeah, great. it's a solid My show. Favorite. Uh, let's okay, see. What else we got? 
What else we got? I don't know, man. Did we uh, answer? Did, just, did we answer anything? I don't it even know. It doesn't fucking fuck matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter Thanks who for fucking your cares. Who Thanks fucking for cares? Bro. We're getting worse and worse. We're getting <laughs> more and more. Dude, off we were killed it for a second. Trail. Remember when we ran out of questions? We like read read all of them. And yeah. now it's like, all right, it's we're an hour. We're a buck. Uh, we're a buck thirty into the show. Haven't and answered which is, shit. We fucking answered like two questions. Can I say something? Right, I've lo- said I have up? said a buck thirty to refer to an hour and a half, and I've been looked at like I was crazy. So I'm glad that you said that. Because it made me feel yeah, less alone. You both wrong yeah. for saying that, but I respect it, you guys it, it totally depends on the wrong. context. In this context, like you don't need to say, like you know what I'm saying. Like it, it makes sense to say that an hour and thirty, a buck thirty. In in this, I just like, think it's, a, I, I think it's a solid. It's just a solid expression. I like a buck thirty is like a really. Good, I like that. I like it a lot. Yeah, I, th- I, th- I it works it's for okay, me. Wiggums. <laughs> I like a buck thirty. I like hey, buck thirties a lot. Let me ask you something. So you know British uh, British uh, slang. Uh, you know when they, the one thing they call money, like they call quid. You know that? Yeah, yeah. You've heard that. Have you ever yeah, thought yeah. about why they call um, it quid? Like, oh, I, th- I, quid. I looked this up recently. I looked this up sometime in the last I few never years. Looked it up, but, but I totally I never forgot. Looked it up. I totally forgot because the information didn't it serve me at all. Okay, I have <laughs> so, an idea of what it is. I, I never root, looked it up, and I just started thinking about monster. it. <laughs> I'm wondering if I'm right. So, liquid. Like liquid cash, right? Liquid. I mean, like liquid is like li- liquid is something that is like liquid, physical. Liquid. So like when you hear people say, "Oh, they have all this money in stocks, but only in like this amount of liquid or whatever," right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or liquidation. Anyway, so I'm thinking it's just a short of liquid, just quid. That's kind that's, of awesome. That's, my, that's what I think it is. I that haven't would, looked it up, but I'm just. Uh, ass- all right, hold on. I don't think that's it, but hold on. Why? Uh, if why it's not is- it, I'm gonna be pissed off. Why is dumb gay <laughs> British money in, in reference to British quid. people using way too much of your brain? Dumb, uh, yeah, is that that's too clever? Is that too why clever? Why is quid usually used to refer to pound? The word quid is a slang term for the British pound sterling. It is believed to have originated from the 18th century. Um, okay, what is that? Okay, wait, what? Quibbage or some stupid shit like that. Like Quidditch? <laughs> That is not real. Hold on, I need a second. I need a second opinion. That is not fucking After real. After Harry so Potter's even, creation, so the British started close. using quid. It's not even close. You're gonna to be Quidditch. so disappointed. So I was, I was, I was Let, trying to give them more credit. Come yeah, on, Britain. That's an amazing. I'm trying to help you guys. I'm trying to rehabilitate you guys, man. Shit. You're trying to rehabilitate this country. That's crazy. Us, us Americans, <laughs> us know, black right? Americans, children of slaves, are trying to rehabilitate <laughs> Britain. Yeah, yeah, they're laughing at us right now. Yeah, whatever, whatever property. They laugh at- <laughs> what's, a, what's have a, what's have whatever a property? Owned. Right. You were owned once. You, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you were I'm owned you again. Once. You want to be owned again, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to make you work the, 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 uh, the I'm going to make you work the kitchen and, and Nando's. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then so it's kind of good stands, though. So I actually, I've never had it. I want to try it. <sighs> what do you so got? It what stands. Got? I found like eight different things, but like oh, Jesus. this is this seems to be the main one. It, it seems to be like the the one that seems to have the most uh, validity behind it. <laughs> quid is a slang term expression for the British pound sterling. Uh, but, but a quid equals one hundred pence, and the nickname may stem from the Latin phrase. Quid pro quo, which translates to something for something. So it literally well, just means oh. something. So okay, because yeah, I know a quid pro quo is. It's just like it's like here, I give you money, give me sex, I get it. Yeah, you get. Yeah, yeah, um, exactly. I give yeah. you a blowjob, you uh, leave me alone. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, I've done that so many times. I've yeah, done exactly. So right. <laughs> she gives me blow job, I kick her out of my house. <laughs> so the first thing I read that made me upset when I was like, I was getting visibly angry when I was reading it was like, it's actually short for uh, it, it's short for Quid Hampton because Quid Hampton is where they print all the money, which which made me so upset that I, I had to find another. I had to find something There's else. A guy named Quid Hampton. Or is that just no? Like it's a, not a guy. I it's imagine. a place. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, lo- I love. <laughs> I love the idea. Derek, that was crazy. That was crazy. I, I love the. You should have. You should have stuck with it. You just sold it. I love the idea of just like, hey man, it's me, Quid Hampton. I make all the money. I make all the money. It's, it's Quid. Just, <laughs> it's Quid Hampton. Quid Hampton. It's Quid in this I'm bitch. Really it's fast. Quid in this bitch. Let's go. You know, hard anyway. is to make millions of pounds a day. <laughs> it's like, it's just fucking, it's just you know how hard it is him. to press print. 
Um, a lot. The dyslexic we had a casting good thing director. Going. Oh god, go we ahead. had a good thing going. <laughs> but you and your quid and your pound <laughs> sterling. <laughs> the dyslexic casting director, Mike. I didn't know. I swear. Uh, the dyslexic casting director in charge of hiring gingers. <laughs> Breaking Bad would suck if it was British, man. Like I, oh my I, god, it, 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 it might so be, it might be pretty dry. good, man. It might be, be pretty so good. dry. They're Look, really like good Luther. at the dramatic performances, man. I like Luther. That that was a good show. I will say with uh, with Idris Elba, that was yeah. a really good one. Even though it was some, incredibly, it was like three seasons of like some two little mom gets done in at his front door set. You think that of me? <laughs> now I'm the one who knocks. <laughs> nope, Horrible. I can't do it. I can't it's do it. I'm the one who yeah, knocks. You can't. I'm doing Skylar, it you must got me confused with one of them other ones, huh? Skylar. I'm the one who knocks, eh? Skylar, <laughs> are you right mad? <laughs> <laughs> what he uh, yells, he's like, Oi! <laughs> 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 it's the cross face scene where he's like under the house and it's like panning up. Yeah. He's like, he's like, bugger! <laughs> <laughs> You've got oh, to man. be we're, joking! We're... Oh no! Oh Jesus! <laughs> Fuck! Dude, we yo shout out shout out to our friends in Britain land uh, guys. Yeah, shout I'm out to sorry. Luke. Shout out to the experience. We're gonna have a, gonna have a, gonna have a live, live show. Exclusive. Everybody else gets to die. <laughs> 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 we're gonna have a live show. We're gonna get like fucking like shanked to death with butter knives or whatever. We're gonna come out and be like, <laughs> you guys <laughs> think you're funny making fun of us, huh? So guess what? Now you gotta run Billy the teams, clubs. Eh? <laughs> you like that? You like that? And then it's fucking just like. You know, I don't know. It's just it's a, it's annoying because there's a little bit of like fucking beans and butter yeah. on it or some shit. So, so it's like, oh, bite it's one gross. of their jugulars. <laughs> so now you're gonna have to. Uh, it, 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 I'm afraid I'm gonna have to acquaint you with my two friends, Kensington and Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, girl. Come on. Put your fist away. And then I up, take then. out my huge American gun that's bigger than my body and blow yeah. them away. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's really funny because like uh, people from Toronto, like people from Toronto. Yeah, like us, like they try to talk about being tough and from Toronto. I've been to Toronto three times in my life. Dude, they all look like it's Drake. a city, so there's obviously going to be some villains in the midst. They're just Drakes. To Tor- obviously, t- 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 Toronto is like, like a, no, a no, tutorial. There are villains, there are villains it's, there, but it's like a tutorial for New York. You know what I mean? Where like it's like, <laughs> yeah, this is how the city. This is how the city looks, kind of. You you might run into some like unfavorable people, but like it's never going to be like so much that you can't handle. In fact, we're gonna we're gonna. Sl- In fact, if any danger befalls you, we're probably gonna slow down time and not even let it happen, just so you can get used to not ha- to pressing the right buttons. But uh, that's that's what Toronto is. It's not it's not a real it's not real. With them talking about like man, do you don't know what I would do. You're goofy if you said a man gonna come boy and take us. And I'm like, yo. If you go to New York City and you talk to someone like that on the street, they're gonna Wait, what slap you, ta- you till you die. Why, why do you have a British accent for a Toronto guy? <laughs> they talk like they talk sort of like that. They have like a they they sort of speak like a like a Caribbean like patois almost thing in Toronto now. I guess when I was there my four times, they never spoke like that. They spoke like regular Canadians, so sort of like Americans. Yeah. But now they speak differently because of Drake. Drake Oi. changed the whole culture over there. You don't like our so monopoly now they money, speak eh? Like this weird kind of patois, dude. <laughs> they have. So I swear to God. I don't know if this is true, but I swear to God, their money is scratch and sniff. I'm not even. Jo- I, sw- I swear to God, <laughs> Canadian money, the the colorful Canadian. Mo- First of all, it it the, it feels really weird. It feels good to be honest. Like, I'm not knocking like the- maple. <laughs> it's. Sm- I'm not even joking. It smells like syrup. I'm not even. What? I'm not even kidding. Yeah. I'm not even remotely joking. The last time I went there, I I was given like money for. I did the the currency exchange. And I got I got some some fucking loonies and toonies or whatever the fuck they call. That's such a fake ass place. This place. But loonies and toonies. <laughs> fucking loony toon ass era. Oh my god. Fucking. That's not a joke. Their money is loonies and toonies. I know. It's called loonies and toonies. Like when I first heard that, I thought it was like you're you're joking, right? Like that's like that's a. You're having a you're having a laugh at me, right? You you yeah. you know, but it's real. And I'm like, how can yeah. you take this you're fucking even their laugh, money yeah? and even their coins that aren't loonies and toonies or patoonies and scoonies? I don't know what the fuck they call them, but like it's just a penny Dewey, hydraulic. We head ass motherfuckers, dog. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> like there's a coin in Canada that's literally just a penny that's hydraulically pressed into the center of like a bigger quarter, and that's nice. like their money. It's like it's like look at this. It's like two. 
It's very like, cool, cool. <laughs> I guess. But um, <laughs> anyway, let's let's get some more questions because we're really failing the audience. Yeah. <laughs> lightning rounds. <laughs> yeah, lightning rounds. Um, uh, what is Solo this? Solo round. What the fuck is this? Uh, the dyslexic one. casting director. Oh, this is the guy I was about to read, but I know we never got to it. <laughs> oh. uh, hello, Black Goku, oh. Black Nappa, and Hispanic Vegeta. I have a spooky hypothetical for you this time. Would you rather piss teeth or shit spines? <laughs> Neither or leaves lasting spines. damage. You'd rather shit spines than piss teeth? Than piss teeth, yes. Oh, I, yeah, I can't imagine anything coming out of my dick hole like that, man. So I think some sharp yeah. ones too. That's true. Imagine they were predator teeth. You got a <laughs> shit a fang. That should rip your whole <laughs> yeah, dick yeah. open. That'd probably be better though because they're yeah. narrower. They are much narrower. That is true. Hmm. But they're jaggered. <laughs> jaggered. Fuck yeah! Shitting I, a, spine a spine is. Bro, is like, I don't know. Said you gotta pull it out. Ah, <laughs> ah. I mean, <laughs> that's the thing about it. A spine is like a spine is like many teeth. It's lengthy. I don't know, but what I'm sure your like, asshole can deal with it better about... than your fucking penis, though. That's the yeah. Thing. But then, what if your penis hole gets so loose that you can come like a, like a one big one at once? <sighs> the oh, big, yeah, finally, the big finally. glob. Oh, yeah, a big yeah, cum you, globule. You ascend. Yeah, you can ascend. <laughs> just falls. Always wanted that. Just falls out of it's you like before you even. Piece of a pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just fall. You're just you're getting like kind of hard, and then it just falls out of you. That's just, and you're just like, you're like oh, oh man, here we go again. <laughs> oh man, my cum fell out. Excuse me, let me clean this up. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, up my cum, my cum damn, fell dude. out. That's <laughs> fucked. It's so embarrassing. All right, yeah. Next. Lightning, All right, lightning, next. go, go, go. Oh, yeah, lightning, lightning. Yeah, Thin Lizzy has a song called Ray Gun. The the you should check it out. Wait, a, yeah. Kingston has no respect for your name because he talked right over it. I'm not going to repeat it. <laughs> Sup, boyos? Very true. Thin Lizzy, take two. <laughs> Last time I brought them up. And you went uh, on an ADD tangent so hard, you didn't even say his name. So I'm here to, t- to talk t- uh, about the ace with the bass, Phil Linet. I think Phil is the most underrated musician of the 70s, if not all time. Who is a musician you three think is underrated? Uh, Michael Jackson, I think, is uh, holy. Yeah, I'm going um, to go with... I'm <laughs> Probably Michael, go yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah, probably Michael Jackson. Yeah, I think Michael definitely. Jackson. I'm gonna go with Michael Jordan. Michael, Michael Jackson, Jordan, yeah. definitely Drake too. I and think Eminem. Michael Jordan has one of the greatest hits of all time. I believe I can fly. That's yeah, fucking awesome. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I, no, no, no. Tay yeah, Sunday. Tay Sunday is my answer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't yeah. think I think about like under. I, 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 I honestly. <laughs> I honestly don't think I think about when I was younger. I used to think about like, oh, this musician is underrated. But uh, since I don't know, since I've been an adult, I just sort of I don't I don't think of things as underrated anymore. I don't know. That's that's been kind of like a thought process that's been completely absent from my life in the last couple of years. I don't know why. Really, Um, I do all the time, man. I always I wish for like uh, I wish for people to know. All the time, I always feel like, damn, I wish this band or whatever, this artist had more success because I feel like they like strongly deserve it. Like They're so talented. Yeah. And I'll see their numbers are like, there's nothing. And sometimes I'm fucking confused. I'll see like a major record label, like uh, Metal Blade Records is a huge uh, metal uh, record label. And I'll see a band on there, like they're promoting their shit. And I was like, Jesus Christ, that's amazing. And they yeah. have z- like nothing. It's le- lesser than my shit. And I'm like, first of all, how the fuck are you signed? Like, what do you even, what is the deal? Like, what is this? I don't even understand. Did they give you an advance? Could they? Is it possible? What is, what is the benefit? I don't understand that, actually. To the yeah. point where I'm like, well, shit, should I just submit my music? <laughs> Can I just yeah, be right? signed for, for no reason? But anyway, um, yeah, yeah. I, I just, a lo- Man, I don't know. I don't know that question. The, the actual... I, the, like, the real uh, the the closest thing to a real answer that I could give is probably Devin Townsend. I, th- I think Devin Townsend is genuinely like one of the most gifted musical minds that I, I think I've ever seen, and it's kind of insane. Like being me, Paul, and Paul's brother went to a show of his, and it is unreal how good the live performance of it is specifically. And he's like in his like late forties or something. So he's not this young guy, and he's like belting out this shit that like makes no sense to me. Like it feels. 
yeah. impossible. And so, like, that would be, probably be my answer. But he's also, like, relatively well off. Like, he's touring with... um. He tours with, like, Dream Theater, and he's not, like... I, I, that's what I mean. It's, like, underrated kind of he, implies that, like, people don't know about him, but, like, he they do. It's just that he exists in, in, like, a very specific circle, you know? Yeah, exactly so, that. I was going to say one of my favorite bands, right? Because um, I recently got to put on to a band called Jungle. Because of, like, there's this TikTok that went around this guy dancing in, like, a very, like, very unique dance. And when I first listened to him, like, genuinely two months ago... Their listens on M on um on Spotify were maybe like a hundred thousand per month. Now it's over nine million. Well, so it's good to say them, but they blew up. So yeah, so you love it. I love to see it when it actually happens, right? Yeah. So I would say between them, there's another group of artists called Group Therapy I listen to, which there were a bunch of young child actors that are from um like Disney stuff like that, and they make music now. And I think they make some genuinely really good music. Yeah, right. Listen yeah, to group right. therapy. They're very good. Yeah, they're right. Good to listen to. I do. Uh, yeah, they probably should. But hey, Chris, <laughs> you're Devin Townsend. <laughs> you're Devin Townsend. <laughs> I, you know, it's, it, <laughs> you're. You're. Uh, I think like you're. I like that answer because I feel the same way about somebody that a lot of people know simply, especially because of like Guitar Hero or something. Like uh, people have heard the the band Kill Switch Engaged. Uh, yeah. Kill Switch Engage, and there was a singer, um, Howard Jones. He was in it for a while, for like 10 years. Yeah. And now the original singer's back. But Howard Jones, to me, he's one of those once every like few generations type of a talent, like as, as a vocalist goes, but he's just in that genre of metal. And his voice transcends that so, like, more, in my opinion, to where it's crazy he's been around for so long and i think just recently he released some of his best work he's in a band called uh light the torch and he has a song called uh they have a song called the death of me which his vocal performance in it is so just stupid good where he's in his 50s now and i was like god he's never sounded better before it's insane like it's crazy when i hear someone's like way older and like you're way better than you were before it's fucking phenomenal that's and crazy yeah i'm like i hear these people and i'm like bro how the fuck do how are you not fucking on syndicated radio all the time? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just yeah. one of those weird things where it's like, you're just in that genre. You you were just, you can't fucking, I mean, I think hip hop stations to pick that nigga up, man. Like, give, give, give this brother some love or something. Just, I know it's not hip hop, but still get, get some other brothers into this music too, but whatever. Nah, they play rock music. You can't do that. Yeah. That's, I feel like that's, I feel like that's one of the things that, saddens me the most like um it's like okay the culture and everything like that but i'm like can we celebrate some of the black voices outside of hip-hop can we do that too i don't know i think that'd be i cool. mean i i agree i agree with you i agree with you that you should be helping other artists in general period you have a you have a do you have a duty to help other musicians thrive what happens is that they're looking to do that in their genre unfortunately i i, right. I agree i get that it. it i get it i just it would be I cool. Agree. It should be helping people in general. It should be helping other people of your, of your group in general. It'd the be thing cool is that black people we're convinced that we're not all we're, we're convinced that different black people are not the same for some reason because you know we've been brainwashed. But <laughs> on to the next question. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, I stared too long into Sweeney's eyes and Derek's thighs, and it made me gay. Wrote in. Well, says, he says eyes. hello. He says hello, Christopher Sorry, Small. Eyes. He says hello, Christopher Small Dignado, Charlie Blackmon, and the Colorado. Uh, wait, Charlie Blackman of the Colorado Rockies, and the guy who tweets awful takes all day. Now listen, first nice. of all, these, these are all <laughs> deeply, deeply insulting. My dick is a whopping three atoms. Okay, that's crazy. Yeah, I know. Don't don't only gag. you can see your dick. Only you can see it. I only know I can it's see there. Uh, so it's because like my prescription's so high. Oh no! You, you, have, you have microscopic you have supervision. description. <laughs> oh man! There you are. With the two little fucking organisms. Knobs. There fucking you are. Just, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It's it's and it's and it's jagged too. It's like it bends left and then it bends right and then it bends left again. So it's a little Very like cool. Pikachu's tail. <laughs> yeah, like Pikachu's tail or Harry Potter's scar. It's it's pretty. It's it's outrageous. This thing, the curvature of this Stupid. thing. And you know what's crazy? When I when I when I get hard, it grows in that direction. So it goes like it goes like that. Like it doesn't. So it hurts. Ah, you have, okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Fascinating. And it's only, and it's only three things. atoms long, so it's like it's pretty nuts. But <sighs> three the rest of that I don't know. I can't speak to. But you got you got me right on. Uh, what canceled media would you want to see get made the most? The planned ending for the Showa era of uh, God's uh, wait, what the, the the planned ending for the Showa era of Godzilla film would have seen Godzilla Bro. dying of diabetes before he getting turned into a spaceship and battling visibly titted aliens who took over his home planet. I don't even know if that that sounds like complete bullshit, but it also sounds like I feel like I could believe it. It's yeah, Japan, so. I'd have to confirm it, that with my homie. He's like a big fan of that shit. Yeah. But canceled yeah, media. it probably is true, though. Canceled. Man, you know what? Honestly, cancel shit. Yeah. This, well, well, we don't know if it's good. That's the, that's what's so crazy about it. It's like I, I would say I would have loved to see that James Cameron Spider-Man movie because that seemed like it was going to be fucking horrible. Like the decisions that were being made in that movie were, were out of pocket. Like and that was in the 90s. Like the. For- that was before Raimi. Before amazing, or was it before? Um, it was before Raimi. Raimi. It was. It yeah. was before the first Spider Man. It was before yeah. the first Raimi Spider Man. James Cameron had this insane treatment. I, I can look it up uh, and and talk about it a little bit more. And uh, but I'll do that while you guys give your answers because that's definitely mine. Because there's some wild shit in there. Mm. I really want to see um, Star Wars thirteen thirteen, but I feel like it, it, if oh, it was completed, yeah. it probably would. Yeah, I just I wonder if it would have been like what we expected it to be. Even though, like, it looked what from what we saw looked kind of cool, you know, like yeah. I guess like the 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 Cal Kesco, whatever the fuck his name is, Cal Kestis. Um, it's yeah, yeah, I, that that shit's all right, you know, like it's it's close enough, I guess, you know. I wish we got to calling? see the original, um, the original. Uh, George Lucas's script for the sequel trilogy of Star Wars, because mm. the way he had it written was like com- was just entirely different from the way it was. Mm. Wouldn't it be like possibly shittier? I don't even. I think. I think it would have been more political. People wouldn't have liked that. Yeah, because I feel like the other things he's done outside of Star Wars have been kind of like. You know, <laughs> I mean, like he, made, kinda... he made indie. It was, the Temple of the Skull was him, right? No, I thought like he, he only did Star Wars and yeah, then one Indiana Jones. Yeah, he got he got into the fourth one where people were like, "What the fuck is this shit?" I didn't. The fourth one was weird, but it was just like this is not that bad. Like I don't, I, it just wasn't. Like I don't, I don't. I think from, it just had weird moments. I think that was people's problems with it. It like, was just like well, there were aliens. The CGI monkey she- scene. People hated. Uh, there was the somehow surviving the 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 blast in the fucking in the oh in the in the fridge just because it's made out of lead. <laughs> he like tumbles <laughs> violently and he gets out unscathed after. It's so stupid. It's so fucking stupid. The aliens I think it's like, like I was that. like, these are aliens. Yeah, yeah people were kind of mad about the aliens. I I, just... Whatever. To me, I'm but like, I don't know, man, because I, I like I like I really 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 like the prequels. I like everything about the prequels. Granted, I've absorbed all of the information he wanted to put into that prequel series. So, like, I read a lot of the comic books. I watched Clone Wars, and I saw the movies, which gives them way more context, uh, an infinite more amount of context. It makes it, like, my favorite era of Star Wars. But the way he wanted it to be, one of my favorite characters would have been the main hero, and that would have been Leia. I really, really like Princess Leia, and she would have been the reason why things would have worked out the way they did. But unfortunately, Carrie died. And then Disney had, and they were like, let's make Ray. And we all know how everybody feels about Ray. And it's yeah. like, well, it, is it confirmed damn. that that movie was. Because I don't know, man, even watching it, it feels like that movie was originally going to be about Finn and then it just stopped being about him. You know what I mean? I, like, I, I feel like. Dude, from what, from what I've moment, heard in interviews, is that Boyega says he was promised a different role than he got. I mean, look, it's obvious. It is obvious when you watch that movie. And when fucking uh, Kylo looks, there's that moment where he detects something, right? It's in the opening of the movie. Like, he, yeah. he detects something. There's like, clearly Finn's supposed to be the force sensitive one. He was supposed to, it was it clearly, and then they just didn't go in that direction. They just yeah. didn't do it. Where I'm like, if anything, they at least should have cut that little scene out. Cause what the fuck was that? Other than him just, did he just stop to just, you ever see like a, a fucking like an animal eating and then it, like it stops for a second and looks? Yeah. And then it continues. Cause, <laughs> cause that's all it was. That's all it was now. It meant it's, nothing. 
it really is fucking dumb man yeah, it's because because that movie feels like it's it's about or like at one point it was about him like very clearly the beginning, or, or, the beginning is about him the beginning, the beginning is, is, is clearly like, about him it's also like just far more compelling of it i i remember when i like i i didn't think that movie was amazing by any stretch of the imagination. it was very by the numbers it was fine um it was just right a new hope again which is th- what a lot of people wanted right. anyway but i remember specifically like when it started and seeing this idea of like oh man they're gonna have like a a former um what is it a former stormtrooper kind of lead of rebe- that's sick that's fucking awesome. That's like way cooler than what what we ended up getting, which was just like a rehash of the previous one original thousand trilogy. Percent. Everything um, about it was primed to be like, you know what? I can fuck with this. You also you check a lot of boxes too, because let's be real. There's a lot of people that want the like, hey, a, a nice diverse cast, but a good character. Finn was set up to be a good character. My yeah, pro- makes my sense. Problem with the- my problem with this series in the first place, the biggest problem for me in the series in the first place, the biggest problem, the problem that like I, I instantly, I could not be a part of the series. I was like, oh, I'm like taking out was all the shit that Vader did and Vader at the end, understanding that I am wrong. I'm fucking wrong. And then to have Kylo become evil is so fucking stupid. That is so, that is the worst. That's just backward storytelling. Luke and all of them saw the shit that Vader went through. They all, the universe exists where people know Vader. They know your granddad. Your granddad was evil, did a bunch of fuck things. And then you're just going to do it again because you want power. It's like, what? Not even, not even for the same reason that Vader became evil. He just became evil. He's like, I'm, I deserve to be stronger than I am. And it's like, no, dude, what? You know what would have yeah. worked though? What would have worked? I don't is think anything could have made that not stupid. Look, at, I, so I disagree. I feel like, because some people are just mentally, their wires are just fucked. I feel like in in that way to be like, I don't understand how he ended up this way. And literally a simple explanation for in real life, some people just can't be helped. Because that that is just fucking true. Some people I think, I were think not, if he would have potentially did it to, in a sense to save lives, like he goes to the dark side. I don't side think it needs to be that someone, deep, dude. It just it's like in real to, life, there are some people that are fucking serial killers, and they're like, "Cause I like not doing real life. it." That's that, that that doesn't. That's just like what I get. Mean? I get it's what just, you mean. It's a that's fine how you narrative. solve a it problem just, in real life. Like some people are serial killers. I don't killers. know why it needs to be more bombastic, though. Like why? Because it's in a bombastic universe. The story's bombastic. No, no. Just the motivation for being evil doesn't need. Not every single thing needs to be bombastic. I don't the, with that with that family it has to be that's the story. It's like I mean, oh oh why like, is why is Yoda so you know like why why is Yoda so knowledgeable and so so much of an why expert? Is no, and why is Yoda so, so, so fucking he's, short? He's, why is Yoda so fucking like, short? He, <laughs> well, it's stupid, it's stupid race of it, like there's there's not a it's just he just is. I mean, Where's he's tall Yoda. Shit, he's not. We we we're okay with that. Tall Yoda. Where's that's t- scary as <laughs> shit. Tall Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, can you please, Derek? Can you, Derek? I want that to be the cover. Can tall you make a tall Yoda? Can you create? But I don't want you. I don't want you to put Yoda's body on something tall. I want you to lengthen Yoda to like he's tall. Oh, make it like his. T- <laughs> like yeah, 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 where him. his torso is so long, <laughs> proportionally correct, six foot Yoda. That's so. That's so disgusting. Be, so I. I so I did some research. Standing next to somebody. I did some research while you we guys got. were talking about uh, Star Wars because I don't I don't know enough about Star Wars. This this Spider Man yeah. scene this this Spider Man James Cameron movie is so it would have been cool to see but it would have it would have not been a good Spider Man movie. This is the film would have shown Peter getting bit by a radioactive spider, gaining organic web shooters, but making fake mechanical web shooters to not freak the public out. Why? Uh, and so reckoning, well, yeah, it's, a, it's such an extra step for no reason. Either do the web shooters or don't. Like what the fuck. Uh, <laughs> and reckoning with the fact that while he gained the powers of a spider, he also gained their predatory bloodthirstiness. During a climactic scene <laughs> atop the World Trade Center, the villainous uh, Carlton Strand, a.k.a. Electro, uh, tells That's Peter... Not his name. Yeah, no, not even close. Um, not his tells name. Peter spiders are predators. They kill to live. They're not hampered by uh, humanitarian ideals or imp- impeded by uh, delusions of morality. The movie would have been rated R thanks to frequent profanity and graphic sex between Peter and MJ on the Brooklyn Bridge that featured a lengthy discussion about spider mating rituals. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? See, I don't mind them fucking, but what's that last part? I don't He's know, like, man. Hey. So. 
so know, let's just end the episode. That as uh, that bothered hearing that bothered me so much. So isn't that much just like, I want to cry. That, that's what what really blows my mind about it is like, man, you really couldn't make a more misunderstanding. Like knowing knowing that, that we could have so got crazy. this instead of the Raimi movies is crazy. That we were like, like pretty hey, close to getting did, these. I make fun of the Raimi guy- movies and I criticize them, but the Raimi movies are a hundred percent a very well depicted ex- um showing of like sixties and seventies Spider Man, which which is what Raimi's a fan of. He's gone on kind of like I'm a fan of this era of Spider Man, and that's it. If yeah. I would have seen that as a little kid. If I would have seen that as a little kid, the person I would have been would have been a different person. Like, because I, I, I would have been, I'm so heavily molded by Spider Man <laughs> that the kinks that I am now would probably be a shadow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I would always show <laughs> like, hey, what's going on, guys? In darkness, I'd have a voice changer. <laughs> You'd never <laughs> see my face. Yeah, it is, it is weird. I don't know, man. It would have been, it would have been fine. Like, I was. I mean, it would have been weird. Obviously, it would have been weird. But I mean, fucking, I, I I read Spawn as a kid. Yeah, and so I was already like, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm fucking with this anti-hero dude. That, well, the you thing, know, the he's, thing he's, about he's it, fucking, Spawn's know. never been that stupid. The thing <laughs> about true. it, true. The thing, the thing yeah. about it, really, truthfully, <laughs> is that you can do whatever you want with the character, but like, we need to, ha- at the very least, give us a good adaptation first. If if that was our first proper cinematic adaptation of spider-man that would have been so bad like and at this point my thing now is, my, today my thing is fucking this, right? do whatever the fuck you want like now today do a fucking man no, spider no, movie then don't Who name cares? it spider-man name it man spider no that's what i'm saying don't name it spider-man i i disagree i think you could take source material and, and twist it in, in a, no, a number of ways that you can have fun with but the issue is like you can't do that without they're already being a solid baseline for what the original is supp- what it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Because that because yeah, then just, that for, because dude, a James Cameron Spider Man movie would have just been the biggest movie ever. Like it just it's it simply would have. James Cameron constantly makes like the biggest movies ever. This would have been no exception. It would have been everybody's immediate like it, an entire generation would have been introduced to the concept of Spider Man through this fucking bastardization. You know what I mean? It would have changed so, everything. Terrible, terrible. So thing. the way the way the trajectory of everything would have shifted. Absolutely. What yeah. we know, what we know now, it would it would uh, probably yeah. be extremely. We would have probably different. got some pretty cool. We would have got some pretty sick other superhero movies, but that would have been a terror. Because like, that's not Spider Man. Like what? The right. fact that Spider Man has organic webs in the first place is a super reductive aspect of his character. It's silly. I disagree. It's like, fine. It's like let, do we, do you think? I think I think him. I disagree entirely. I don't think it's. I don't think it's, I don't think it's any more ridiculous than. I think I think him talking with them is really dumb. I what do you mean? I think, well, I think him just, talking with them is dumb. Because he just them? doesn't have that part of his body. Like he doesn't have like. I, like that's what why I mean. Would he like, have that? At least have it come out of his ass. Then I'd be yeah, like, like that's right. stupid. Why would at least have it come out of his right. asshole? I'd be fine with it. What, what do you like, mean? It doesn't make like, any it's sense. Just, it's one of those. Well, it's just one of those things where it's just why like how convenient come out of his wrist? Why would he have they two come of them out of his wrists? It's why so not? convenient that they come out of here. Because it's, that's it's not also the it's also convenient a- that Wolverine is able to fucking jettison claws out of his hands. That's just having extra but bones. We'll have like extra no, it isn't. Not, no, it have, is not extra. Can, well, first of all, animals, think about, think about the logistics. I understand, but think about the Chris, logistics. You know that there's hold a frog that has the same hold thing on Wolverine does. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, and he doesn't heal the same way, and he dies probably shortly afterwards and gets fucked up. Listen, here's the thing it about hurts. Wolverine's That's clones. True. Here's the thing. Wolverine's Rawr. claws, in order, in order to Meow. make sense, logistically speaking, Wolverine's claws would have to be in his, half, in his arms. No, no, no. Well, they would have to be in his arms, yes. So, but in order for them to work properly, they would have to be about half the size of his hand. So it would be like this big, like two inches long. That would how that's how long his claws no. would have to be. Yes, yes. No. How is he doing this? How is he doing this? If his fucking Chris, claws go Chris, all the way up his arm, Chris, does he do his claws Chris, bend? There is liter- Chris, 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 Chris. In X Men Origins, they literally show a literal X ray of his body. His claws are in here. Kingston, where the bone you're is, not where understanding. It bend. No, 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 no. Let me explain. Let me finish explaining. Where his bones don't bend, there are claws. There are foot long claws in there. And when he pushes them out, literally they jettison up to the bottom of the claw is at the point of his wrist, so he can move it. Other but than that, still if he lo- move his hand. That's the same movie. Through, that is the same movie. Through. That is Kingston. That is the same movie. By the way, that. <laughs> That is the same movie. No, yes, you're right. Has, there's plenty of movies in there. No, 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 no hold on. I, I, no, 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 hold on. Let, let me explain. Let me, hold on. Let me, no, 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 no. First of all, that's not that's no. That's that movie. And second of all, that's the movie where fucking 
<laughs> Deadpool You're has right. a whole sword come out of his fucking the tip of his wrist. So like You're right. No, that is true. That's not a look, suitable like, stupid, I feel like, wait, right. Look at look at you, this this is I feel like this is the difference right here. If if the X Men like say if Logan was bit by a Wolverine and then just got claws out of nowhere. I would be like, that is really fucking stupid. But the idea mm. is that these are just random mutations and people are getting wild shit versus, you know, like say him getting bit and it's like, he, well, bit, he got bit by a radioactive now, spider. So he has a spider oriented mutation. He, I don't, I don't bit, see the problem. He did not have, he got bit but by they, a radioactive he, spider, he, which he does have spider mutation. He has he a does. personal strength and speed of a spider. Right? No, I like I'll the be, idea. I'll be, I'll be, I'll, parts. Listen, I'll be 100% honest. It I've always hated worse. the idea that Spider Man. Spider Man shouldn't be called Spider Man. It, without the I mean, web it's shooters. a dumb name. He admits it. It doesn't. The it character doesn't, admits no, no, it. It's no, a no, stupid no, it, name. No, but even just like he has these powers, right? He can stick to walls. He's really strong. And that's it, really. That's really it. Like he can, he has this like general sense of like what's wrong, but even that's like yeah, whatever. Yeah, that is but nothing. Costume, nothing though. about that is unique to a spider at all. So the only thing that makes him Spider Man, exactly. the only thing that really makes him Spider Man is the web shooters and the fact that he had to no, build it's not really. it. It's the costume, Chris. Oh it's my the god! Costume. Really, why is the costume? Oh my god! All right, I can't Look wait it, for the comments on this. He's, he, what makes Batman Chris, Batman, dummy? What are you talking Batman about? Doesn't Batman doesn't have powers. Batman doesn't have powers. You're thing, right. But you're saying that he shouldn't be called that because he doesn't have no. the technical powers of a fucking spider is silly. But he, he is has Spider-Man powers. because he chose the suit. He did, but he it doesn't has matter. Powers. He, didn't, Chris, he didn't have Chris, to choose Spider. He wait. did because of the connection. He chose Chris, Spider-Man because of the connection. He not because he has the literal powers of a spider. Speed? Of a proportionate spider. That is why he's Spider Man. It's not the only the it's like, that is, doesn't but show you, you that to, because it no, no, gives no, you of vagueness of the character. Guys. No, but I don't think, think you're really heroes. understanding what I'm saying. There is nothing. What, why is Electro called Electro? Why is Cyclops called Cyclops? Because he can control electricity. Right. Why is Cyclops yes. called Cyclops? Because he has one eye. Well, he shoots a beam like one well, he shoots eye, one right? One beam, yeah. That, but but what is an actual cyclops? It's just a fucking monster with one eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not so. Should he have? Should fucking Scott Summers have one fucking eye for it to make sense to you? Yes. Like it's just not like yes. you're, you're being. I don't. I don't like the X Men. Right you're, 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 no, no, I'm not. This is a, a reasonable thought. Like, why is Spider Man called? It's I, not. Here, no, hold on, hold on, hold no, on, hold on, hold on. You're right. One moment. Hold on. If Spider Man got bit, get bit by a spider, on. I would no, be totally on your no. side. If Sp- no, if Spider Man yes. got bit by a radioactive spider, right? Yes. And he was asleep when it happened. He didn't even know what happened, right? He just woke up with like, oh, okay. whoa, fucking weird. I got a bug bite, and then uh, he woke up with powers. That's diff- he has that's no idea. He has no fucking idea it's a spider at all. No, exactly. W- would he have the he web very swingers? Likely, he very likely wouldn't have. He very likely no, wouldn't name himself he, Spider Man. He wouldn't have gone down that route. That's fine. No, you're that's missing. That's why no. I say it's but in the, the point- costume. But it's not about the costume because the costume was informed by the power set, and the power set to me doesn't make any no, sense. You're misunderstanding, brother. You're, you're so you're taking away the idea that he knows it's a spider. The you took only that away. thing I'm just saying the only thing that really makes a Spider-Man Spider-Man is the ability to sh- to use webs. That's the only thing that and defines him as a spider. Fact that he has the proportionate yeah, but the but that's of every a spider. Else, that's everything. That's an ant. That's so like a number ex- of different things. No, Chris. It is a spider. Spider oh, man, man is pretty much a Look, fucking gay as hell. This argument. What are you talking well, no, about? Because Chris, no, you are pro- so. You're, the thing is that you're ill-informed and you're loud about being ill-informed. Oh, shut the That's fuck what's up! That's making me go Suck nuts. A dick. No, Suck you are a dick. wrong, Chris. You're wrong, Chris. You're Kingston, wrong. If I was pitching you, if I was you're pitching wrong. you a character, That's just if what I was it is. pitching you a character, if I was pitching oh you a character yes, called dude, Spider-Man but, and he didn't have the power yes. of webs at all, you'd be like, "Why is he called? Why? Why is he called Spider-Man?" It's fucking yes, stupid. Of him he could be anything down. else. Dickhead, something his that background. Give his him background. something that correlates look. to a spider, Chris. Look. Give oh him spider God. fangs. Look, or look, eight legs on. or hold something on. like that. Hold right. On. The hold literal on. Right. Think of all of those abilities things. of a spider. All of those things all of those things make more sense to me than just, oh, he has the a, the generalized proportionate strength of a spider, which how do you even fucking quantify what? that? And how is that really all that different from like an ant at a, at a certain point when you're Why? the size no, of a person? It's, it's extremely different from an ant. And you're ant not, and a spider are not, you're not the same listening. strength. You're not listening. You're not fucking listening. Oh Shut up. Oh my God. 
if you are so if you are that loud. Str- You're so if you are that loud. strong if you are that strong if you are seriously that strong right as a man to, with the proportionate strength of a fucking insect whether you're a, whether you're an ant or a spider that is both insanely strong to a point where it almost doesn't even matter that it's ant oriented how strong is the hulk when compared to like the proportionate size of a fucking bug probably up about right what the fuck who cares at that point what is the connection outside of just the fact that you've been bitten by something okay cool you are not spider-man you're not Spider-Man. Chris, you're stick Chris, to walls, Chris, man. To you're more right? Ant-Man than anything Chris. else. Because all you do is stick to no, walls and you're strong. Chris, right? You guys are going in the wrong direction. Look at Scorpion. What makes Scorpion Scorpion? What makes Vulture Vulture? They have, like, power. They have, uh, do they have the, well, do they yeah. have the powers but only, of a but fucking only Scorpion? Tech, but they're only... Well, they don't do have the powers have of a Scorpion. A, why are you making an excuse for Spider-Man and not these other people? Well, I like, don't like that they about... Don't no, have they, don't have powers. Do- Dr. Octopus. they don't have the powers of a Scorpion or a right. fucking Vulture. Why is right. it okay for them to be called Scorpion or Vulture and not Spider-Man to be called Spider-Man? Because I don't why hold those people the same standard. I understand. But that's see, a good, that's that's a good point. You're just being biased good, for no fucking reason. I'm being biased. I'm be, being I am being biased. No 100. percent I have always been but bothered for no by reason, the fact though. that. He, oh my god, you're but misunderstanding. If, no, for no reason. Why are you? In, oh no! How am I misunderstanding? Because you're saying because once you remove I don't, the web shooters, that, nothing connects them to a spider. Because I don't that care is about how much sense Doctor Octopus makes. Because I don't care about Doctor Octopus as much as I care about Spider Man. So it bothers me that Spider Man is only Spider Man because of a gadget. It does bother me, and so, especially but you because you only care and because it, you care about Spider Man. Well, I care about it is because that what you're telling me. I care about it because the web slinging is literally the only part of Spider Man's like power set that I find to be unique enough to 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 be for spider-man to even be as popular as he is if spider-man didn't but have the why web doesn't swinging it bother you then for he would, anybody else it because i don't like anybody else as much so that's what that's i'm what saying bothers me. Only it doesn't bother right me about, is it doesn't bother me about batman you like spider-man batman, it bothers you yes literally i don't i don't care that's about it. batman that, at that, all. That's all i don't i, needed. I don't care no, about batman at, even slightly the fact that he's like dressed like a bat we are is on fucking the same stupid and gay in fact i think it's dumb as fuck <laughs> okay. that he's dressed like a <laughs> bat at, we're on and the same page it's like bro you're we're spider-man on the same page. we're on the same page now but i'm saying but Look, here's you the, can, the reason I, the reason i'm saying is the reason i'm saying as long as you admit that as long as the reason i'm saying this is because like that's why i like specifically that Raimi Spider-Man is a fucking mutant with that fucking that the ability to swing. You say, "Oh, now he's actually Spider-Man." Like, there's actually a yeah. reason beyond just so he, I, beyond the fact that he noticed, beyond the fact that he just noticed that he got bit by a spider. He actually is a Spider-Man. That's 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 so what I think. I think. So look, I, I, think I don't think, that's, think it, so this I don't, is what I would also like. Hold so on, my I'll argument. Let, my, I'll let you go in a second. On. One, go ahead, go ahead, literally go three more words. That's why I don't think it necessarily detracts from his character. I don't think it really detracts at all. I and think that's it. I think it does because of how inventive he's been with his webs over the years. But I think him developing like something happening in him developing organic shooters, I think that's fine down the line. Don't think you should start with it. I think his webs I think it's his fine. his creation of the webs has shown how intelligent he's been. That was like the main inference of like, oh, this kid's a pretty smart young guy. He created this thing that other people would never think of, but he needed to use, so he created it. Look, I don't know why you're explaining this when he already admitted why he has a problem with this. It doesn't come down to intricacies like that. It's oh, yeah. just, well, I, th- well, I, I think it does. I think it doesn't. No, no, no. I, I want think it Spider-Man does affect- to be more... No, I think it does affect intricacies well, I mean, as well. Because there are certain, saying, though. well, because there are certain things about it because, that I there are certain things about the fact that he had to invent web shooters that I think detract from his character. The fact that it like because then it makes him so it makes him so smart that it's unbelievable that he's poor at all. Like it kind of makes no sense to me that like Peter Parker should be oh, no, very that's a, that, no 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 Peter, that's stupid. But that's because they won't let Spider Man grow up. I understand, but Look, what, that's I, why no, you're totally that's why it's stupid. You are. You are totally correct, but this is why. But this is what I mean. It's like a key integral part of Spider Man is that he is kind of this everyman, and he is kind of like it could be anybody. And and there's some, the, what I feel takes away from that is the the idea that like oh Spider Man, you could be Spider Man if you were bitten by a radioactive spider, and you just so happen to be very fucking intelligent. I don't think that's I, something like the intelligence of Peter Parker should have always been in, in, like in my opinion should be in how he outsmarts his enemies and how he uses what he has at his disposal against people around. And and even just the ability of, like, being able to swing and use physics effectively. Like, you give a normal person 
the abilities of like Spider-Man, they're probably not going to swing as grace gracefully or as effectively. They're going to be bumping into shit like that. That was something that I kind of they have to learn. Assumed, obviously, but no. But what I'm saying is like that's something that I assumed like kind of just based on how Peter Parker was written as a character. It's like oh, his intelligence kind of allows him to understand physics in a way that probably most other people wouldn't, which kind of informs why he's so good at maneuvering with webs around like really complicated environments. Like that's a part of his intelligence that I think still allows him to be this everyman that doesn't put him in this weird situation where he's inventing technology that he should just be selling or like at the well, very look, least like look, hold on do, do you understand what i'm saying me, when me, i say all I this want, i just want to get i, I, yeah, I, I want to give you an anecdote real quick though my sure. brother is an extremely smart guy neuroscience blah 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 statistician right, right, yeah, yeah. but when mm. we gave him directions to go to disneyland all you got to do <laughs> is make right, a right. right on harbor and then it's right there. You can't miss. And he still missed yeah. it somehow. Me, yeah, like yeah. There, there is some people that the, get, I can actually believe that for some fucking reason, as smart as he is, he just never even thought to sell fucking like his, his like actually made that connection, pull myself out of poverty and become a, an infinity billionaire. Because for some reason, that just did not click. For, yeah, I've seen yeah. it, it's, I've it's, seen it no, in real you're, life. You're, you're, you're for, totally right. For, but it's, yeah. I agree with Chris 100%, right? 100%, 100%. That's why my problem where I say Spider-Man has become boring is because Spider-Man with Peter Parker has been the same way for 60 years. It's been the same for 60, 60, 70 years. He's been the same character. Can't keep a job, poor, begging Aunt May for money, all this stuff, right? And I think the the problem with that is that Peter Parker can't change because if he changes, people won't really... Well, we, not as a group... Because most people are fucking poor. <laughs> we, as a group, will respect him, right? Because it's not right. even the point is him just growing up. Most people are but, struggling, though. It's a, it's no, a very no, easy I, I, connection I understand to the strugglingness, right? Yeah. I understand no, I agree that. with you, though. I but think there it, are it different move struggles on. other than just poverty. I totally... It's just an easy layup. That yeah, is why. It, exactly. We understand it's that. Easy. We it's understand like, oh, why they do that. We understand why they do that. Most people understand that. It's just... I just... Yeah. Can we just? Est- I just want to. Let- I just want to establish the ground of that whole weird shit that just happened a few minutes ago. <laughs> is that this is all all the because I, I just I just want to I just want to be and I want the audience to just know. Okay, the reason why this even happened in the first place is your your love for Spider Man. Your your love for Spider Man it, it it gives you a, a deeper love because there is more of a reason for him to actually be like Spider Man. He's connected more. As Spider Man, because he naturally has these web shooters, like he is actually connected to Spider Man. Because I, yeah, if he did not have the web shooters at all, he can be a, he can be like any type of arachnid. Or well, something. there's it, a lot of arachnids, it's, or there's it's a lot not of even that have a lot of guy, it's, 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 it. it's not, it's not right. even just that. It's it's more right. so the fact that like the only reason that he is Spider Man is because he happened to notice that it was a spider that bit him. That's kind right. of the thing and, about and, it. But isn't that, that okay though? It's kind of like Spider Man, Batman it's becoming not, Batman right. because of overcoming his fears of no, being a pussy. I don't think that's a problem. I think the issue is that, like, I don't think not having that detracts from his character is what I'm saying. Like, because the thing that was said initially was that, like, oh, uh, organic okay. web shooters detract from his character. It's like, I don't think so. I think they I think they take, I think they, I do, think they take away. I think they context. take away. I think they take some from other places where, like, oh, yeah, they, they take away the aspect that he's this unrivaled genius that can make it's, insane it's, well, it's, technology it's, that really doesn't make a lot of sense mm, but it's not unrivaled, in doing that exactly it is though it is it's kind not of. it's not no one else needs to create that kind of thing that's not unrivaled we, uh, uh, that, is, that is intelligence directed I, in a certain way that's not unrivaled intelligence there's no tony reason why stark, the milita- if he if tony stark if he needed to create a canister right, of no, little no, no, web like right, things right, that were that talking, he can do it right but now we're now we're getting into the broader Universe of Mar. I, I'm well, just, no, you brought a universe. If people need to create things like that, they could create it. They, there's micro, there's micro mesh that is extremely I'll, powerful in this world. Well, right, right. I'll, I'll I'll put it this way. Like in in the Spider-Man game now, um, in, in, in like in Insomniacs, it's very tech heavy. There's like a lot of there's like a lot of emphasis on tech. Peter's room is all kitted out. He's got all this like technology around him. He's got in the new game they established that he has a wrist. Understand what I'm saying when I say this. In the new game, Peter Parker has a wrist-mounted 3D printer. Okay, it's nuts. That That's can nuts. print. That can print drones. In That's pretty sick. In That's less, sick as fuck, dude. In less than a second. <laughs> that to me is like I, I I don't know, man. Like I look at that and I'm like I don't. I don't feel like Spider Man really right now. The web wings, I think, kind of do that too, like the flying stuff, where like I the feel wings, less. Yeah, but, the, but they're I there feel for a less, reason, though. Yeah, I agree. I'm just, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I I feel less like Spider Man in a game like this than I did in any of the Spider Mans previously, where it was just 
webs you know what i mean even if gadgets were like web oriented you know i'll take like oh this little device like makes my web shooter shoot like web balls or something like cool fine but like the second it's like drones and shit like he's like he's so smart and he has access to such insane technology that i don't even know where the bar is for this universe anymore like there's a scene in the game where he goes to like a museum and he's like there's a scene in this game where he's like he's talking to a bunch of scientists about stuff they're working on and it all sounds so embarrassing compared to the thing that's on his fucking wrist and it's like this massive disconnect between like me and this guy where i'm like i don't i can't relate to this guy who's so out of pocket smart i love i i love that because of the fact that for years he's been that smart you know i understand i've been reading spider-man I for yeah. decades but and I, I he's been that smart for decades you know i, I don't i i understand but I, I i think i think his intelligence should come from like not i've got building 3d printed drones that can like just instantly calibrate but just understanding how to use a battlefield or like how to use things around him in like a like i i I would feel a lot better about it if all of his tech was like scraps you know what i mean like almost like iron man and iron man one where like he was like building shit out of like like just the most primitive stuff i I can i can understand because if if, spider-man has always been like He's like, oh, man, I fucked up. How do I deal with this guy? He goes back to the lab. Connors, do you have this X, Y, and Z? And he puts things together. And it's not as, in this way, he already has that stuff, you know? So we didn't see him develop it. He has it. The 3D printed thing was kind of crazy. I was like, what the fuck? That's a 3D that's, printer. That's okay, pretty nuts. That's kind of, that's that's kind of insane, nuts. is it not? <laughs> But so even like that, even, that's, that, so but what even that, that's not that crazy compared to the drones flying around. You know, there's like yeah, drones yeah. flying around. You know, there's like things yeah, like but, that are not the, that crazy. But the thing, but the but the thing about is, but but the thing about that is like a lot of his enemies are just. It, I look, I, my suspension of disbelief. Everything in this is tech based. The whole world is tech based. I, Chris, I totally understand what you're saying, and look, I yeah. think objectively, I think a lot of people wouldn't be willing to admit this. But as far as storytelling goes, I think objectively, if you were an actual storyteller, you're writing a, a, a script or you're writing a novel, whatever. It would be much more to your advantage if he wasn't such a brilliant mind. It would make much more sense for the struggle and overcoming things than having to suspend your disbelief in the thing where it's like, why is he so insanely smart and struggling so fucking tremendously? It's one of those things that where you kind of have to do that same struggle with like a uh, a Batman where he's like... He's perfect in every way possible, except for, you know, his, like he can't afford therapy or some shit. Like, yeah, yeah or, or something like something it. where there's like there's like things where you kind of have to like ignore where it's like strip some of this stuff away from these people so they can be a little bit more grounded instead of giving them everything. Where it's like, okay, this guy has all the powers and all the fucking smarts in the world, but he still somehow gets himself in these wacky situations where it's like, oh, it's much more believable to get in these wacky situations if he didn't have an abundance of intelligence and all that shit like that. So it's like, I understand that. I, I totally get that. You know, like, that where it could kind of take you out of it a little bit. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. For for, for Spider-Man, they're just, and, it's, and it's the same because they re- keep, they keep retelling I think Spider-Man the same be kind gay. of stories with them. No, I actually agree. Refuse, I actually would refuse. love that. A different, not Peter Parker though. Like Miles, yeah, gay, I'd be fine with that. No, Peter Parker black, should be gay. Black, black, Hispa- black Hispanic, and gay, bro. Give him let a whole Peter, wombo, let Peter Parker, whole let combo. Peter Parker, <laughs> let Peter Parker be happy for once and let him be gay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Could dude. you imagine if he was gay? Everything was better about his life. Every single thing was better. Wouldn't it though? Oh, dude, are you kidding? Though? Easily, easily. Everything would be actually, better. Everything no, would be better. everything. I don't even think Peter Parker would have died. Yeah, Uncle Ben would not have died if Peter was gay. 100%. That's crazy. He doesn't even become Spider Man. He actually dodges all the way to Spider. Ooh, watch out! <laughs> Look at all me. Yeah. Dude, I'm not even kidding. I, I'm, I, I'm, I don't even think I'm, I. I really don't even think that's far fetched. Entire like I really and do think that's right. Peter Parker is right. gay, and what happens is that the spider bites Harry. Because Peter dies, like, oh Harry, watch out, help me, Harry, help me. <laughs> Harry Dude, gets bit by the spider instead. <laughs> it's this Dude, pussy is such a horrible cause different. of a lot of his woes, man. A lot of a lot of fucked up MJ, shit that's MJ, happened. MJ, he doesn't, he doesn't care about saving Gwen Stacy. He doesn't really that big of a deal because he's yeah. some random bitch. Gwen don't matter. He don't give a fuck about MJ. She's just some dumb bitch that lives like right there. She, like, he knows hey. her. He knows her. They used to hang out. They used to do makeup with each other or something like that. But they don't. They don't like. They yeah. don't really fuck with each other that much. He goes to college. He succeeds. He's a billionaire. He gets put under like Stark Tech as he he goes to work for Reed, Reed Richards and all that shit. Like it's just a yeah. genuinely everything's better. For yeah, he, does su- he does like successful Norman Osborn like type of experiments. Yeah, so like, and Mary, and Mary like, Jane, they, they recreate, and, they recreate and, and, the Super Soldier, 
yeah. the correct way so there's more Captain Americas in the world like everything is bumping <laughs> he meets the Avengers but because of his like scholastic creations not yeah. because of him being a fucking superhero and yeah. then Mary like, Jane yeah, Peter is a great guy what, what about and Mary then Mary Jane? Jane is a lesbian and then she ends up in a really domestically violent uh, <laughs> like really <laughs> domestically violent <laughs> Like, Mary, but, this, but, this, but this Mary Jane is like, she's like, she's like very butch. Spouse. She's like very butch and she's like very fucking, she's kind of swole a little bit. And, and she's like fucking up, Jim Carrey. She's, she's, she's like, like Abby. Carrey, uh, out of Gwen Stacy. She's like Abby. What's, uh, what's uh, Drew Carey? Yeah. She looks like fucking what's Drew Carey. What's Drew Carey? No, you know she Drew Carey. She beats the like fuck Drew out of Gwen Stacy there in a relationship. They're getting a lesbian relationship. She beats the fuck out of Gwen Stacy. Doesn't and Harry has to stop her every now and then from almost killing her. What'd you just say? So doesn't doesn't Drew Carey look like a, like, you know, a butch lesbian? Hold on, like, Drew Carey. Look this up. You got Derek. Get out of your mind. But Derek, you got to look this if up, you, Chris. You got to be jaw dropped. Like, if, if you ever see a, a butch lesbian in real life, doesn't he look like a butch lesbian? <laughs> he does. He does. <laughs> I mean, the the beard kind of throws it off. Well, but, well not uh, anymore. Back, old, back, Drew Carey show. Drew Carey. Drew Carey show. Drew Carey. You just said Drew Carey looks like a I. I guess. Okay, whatever. He does. He next does. T- he does. He does. You, I, I totally. A- I totally agree. <laughs> I one hundred percent. That is crazy. Hold on. I have a let's, picture. I have a picture. I have a picture. I'll send it to you this. in the chat. Okay, I'll send let's, it. Yeah. let's stop doing this now. I'm done. I'm done. Doing no, this hold on. Wait, 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 I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> you you must. See, uh, Lily's Lily's new girlfriend. Oh come on! It's not. Stop. It's doing that stupid thing where it's like I click. I click the picture, but it like it doesn't have the picture in it. Was it too gay? Uh, lesbian's like, got a no. good man. The girlfriend's like, hey, give me some more. She takes off the sixer, applies the tenor, and it goes the in with tenor. the tenor. <laughs> <laughs> she unscrews the sixer. <laughs> I think I'm 50 years old. I, th- I think I'm 50 years old. I'm going uh, to tell Joe to start uh, buying some strap-ons because I feel like I'm going to be bored at that point. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. 50, uh, 29 for me. You know, same difference. <laughs> Kingston, check out, check, Kingston check, out, check out the chat. You're gonna see uh, Lily's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that is totally a lesbian, man. That's a, that's I don't. A, I don't on, really man. agree, but I, you guys, time, a, next, you guys believe it so hard. I'm not gonna fight you guys. Her name okay. is next Carol. Time, next, yeah, yeah. <laughs> next time we go to Disneyland, you're gonna see a couple of them. I swear. Stop. You're gonna see Did a couple. Like, he has when I was at Disneyland. They always wear jean shorts too. So I was at Disneyland, right? And I was walking yeah, yeah. with Lily, and some little kid fell down. And as the kid fell down, some guy. Kick the kid in the face. Right when the kid fell down, he almost <laughs> tripped over the kid. And I started laughing so hard. Because oh, the dad man. pulled the kid up. It was like per- it was oh like perfect. We that were like sounds- walking. We were that going sounds so much. Here. That sounds so much. Dude, that sounds so much like that. Did Jalen ever tell you the story about how he slapped the, the baby story, in the Palisades? Yeah. J- and then he Jaylen, ran a- off. Our friend, our friend Jalen slapped a baby in the Palisades by complete accident, and the like. Well, it wasn't a baby; it was like a toddler, whatever. But we were. We, I remember it so vividly. We were coming out. We were coming out of the Palisades while we had just seen Super Eight, so it was whenever that movie was in theaters, and we were laughing because like we were making a joke about it or something. And then he just. We were walking in one direction, laughing. He he's animated, dude. He's an animated guy, so he throws his hands around, and then he throws his hand down, and I guess like. Like we were going one direction, this 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 mom and their kid was going in the other direction. He hits the kid in the face. He he looks at his hand. He's like, "Why is my hand wet?" And he turns around. <laughs> and he turns around, and the kid's like with his head back like this, and he's like slow. He's like lagging behind his mom, and his mom <laughs> yanks him forward. And she's like, "Enough, enough." <laughs> and it was like, and we we I rolled actually rolled on the floor of that mall laughing. I could not believe that shit. He I'm so like, glad why we had my for hand being wet. <laughs> why is my hand wet? I, I'll never forget that question. We, if I'm so glad I have witnesses to that, because when I tell dude, that story, told me it's that like story so many times. It's so, it's so fucking funny. It's just dude. so hysterical. I wish I could. If if there's a way to rewatch like almost like a theater mode moments of your life when you die, that's definitely one of the ones I'm watching. Ooh, man, dude, that I kick got kicked in the face so hard, bro. It was like, because the guy was just walking. Like, you know when you're walking, you're moving, you're doing your... Like, there was one time when I was walking, uh, when I lived in uh, Burbank, and the other side of Burbank I used to live in, I was walking one time, and I ended up kicking a homeless person because I didn't know they were there. So oh. I kicked them, and then I gave him some money. Did I tell you that story? <laughs> you kicked him, and then you paid him. He was like, uh, I, I some deserve money this. I, fr- I kicked him hard as shit. 
Because I was just like, I was speed walking. I was like, I got to get to chase him. Speed walking, speed walking, speed walking. And it was dark and I kicked the homeless guy. And I was like, holy <laughs> shit. And I gave him like $20. I was like, I don't really got $20 to spare, but I kicked the fuck. He's groaning. He's groaning. I got to, I got to, I got to make this right <laughs> somehow. Kid, that is so, crazy. That, that is his, that is his gig. You fucking, you fell for he, it, bro. He laid down in front of me. Why Jackpot. the fuck is he? Wait, wait. Wh- were you on like the grass? Were you on the sidewalk? Where were you? I was on the sidewalk, and I see, was like no, speed see, walking down no, by where carving board is. That is his fucking fault. That that yeah, like that you is don't lay down yeah. the sidewalk. Felt really the bad is like because I I it was audible. Like I had headphones in, and I hit him, and I was like that made oh, noise. Oh, that's performative. That's performative, like, dude. He, he made got. it louder. You got got. You got got, dude. He <laughs> made the hit. He probably had like a frying. Like he had like a fucking like um what is it like a. <laughs> An <laughs> aluminum pan on his chest <laughs> to enunciate uh, the sound. <laughs> That's so good. He got you, dude. The, those those so motherfuckers bad. that jump in front like of cars this, and shit. He when has you're a in the corner like a Better Call Saul. <laughs> he has a Bluetooth well, speaker. Like with, Call Saul, he has a Bluetooth speaker, and then you, you, you He has a Bluetooth speaker under it, uh, under it, and you kick him, and then he goes ah, and then three seconds later, broken glass sounds start start <laughs> blasting. <laughs> like way She's later, got a like whole gig. like way. <laughs> After gig setup, dude. it's so not on. Yeah, yeah, it did. It didn't. Uh, he didn't press play fast enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in in like- fact, if if I move the cover, if I move the cover, it's a little hole down to lower area where it's a completely furnished lower yeah. basement. Yeah, with it's him actually living down there. It's like yeah. heat and everything. <laughs> it's actually not. It's actually not one guy laying on his side. It's just it's six midgets standing upright in a line. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> they're standing upright and they're still as low as my foot. They're standing straight up. <laughs> All right, let's that fucking. Is, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's just get out of here. We're, we're, this episode has gotten <laughs> entirely. Oh, shit, we this didn't do the got credits, entirely did we? out of hand. Ah, oh, fuck, this we didn't do the, the credits. This is one of the most off the tree and chill episodes. Why did I episodes. feel like we did the credits? I felt like we did it. And I'm like, ah, oh, we're nah, out of we here. Do it. And I'm like, wait let's a minute. Go. Well, we're going to get okay. some right, mega engagement on this one now that we have, a, now, now, now that we have an anger blow up. It's right, gonna do right. It. It's gonna do it. Yeah, the it's definitely the the title of the episode is gonna be. Involved right <laughs> I was getting mad, I was getting mad, and I was like, "Do I do I hit the do I hit the desk?" I was like, "I gotta hit the desk. I yeah, gotta hit the good. desk. Otherwise, it's not gonna. <laughs> this is gonna be anger for no reason." So let's. Uh, I would hit my desk. It says to his desk costs too much. It's like one of the freaking like standing ones. So if I hit it and it breaks, I'm gonna die. Uh, <laughs> I have a panic attack. <laughs> so like, what was that thing? What was that thing that we like? We used to. When uh, when we were living together, we were like, it's you can one. Only, you, it, it's what you get one. If you're playing a game and you get mad, you get you get one. You get one hit at the desk. You get, you get one hit and then like a prime for the second, and then like you have to stop before the second one. You stop yourself. But if you if but if you hit twice, you just you're consumed. You're consumed by anger. You're gonna keep hitting it and fucking break something. So it's you like get one symbiote. hit. <laughs> it's like the fucking <laughs> symbiote suit. It's like nah, he's hit he's hit twice. It's taken him. Uh, He's, right. Don't go talk. Don't go talk to that guy. He's really upset. If you go talk to him now, he might hit you. Just let, let him be for a bit. Wait, what, why is this filter not working? Active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's read the. Uh, let's read it up. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. The newest Snark Tank Patreon member, some guy GG, incel turn trans femme, uh, Alexander the Gay. Nice. Uh, nice. Uh, a spooky <laughs> uh, man. I wish if I was honestly, if I was a gay guy named Alexander, that would that I, I would be so insufferable because I would Alexander absolutely, ju- I would absolutely do that. I'd be like, hey, it's me, Alexander the Gay. You know me. I'm Alexander the Gay. <laughs> uh, a spooky cowboy spot. A spooky cowboy Spotify playlist. The Wicked Waste. I think it's, a, it's. I feel like it's a recommendation or something. Sucking down a crisp mm. diet cock. I mean diet cock. I mean diet cock. I mean diet cock. I mean diet cock. <laughs> nice. I'm with. I'm Love the man with the. Loves it. I'm. I'm the man with the cock by Alice in Chains. Uh, nice. I just popped. I am the man with the cock. Go ahead. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 my yes. All right, get, get going out. It's a good song, though. Good song. Come forgive nails. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, how would, what do you say to Jesus Christ? So, let, semen. Let's go, let's it, would like, go, it, it would be like semen. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Semen. So whatever. Yeah, I yeah. just popped a whole garbanzo <laughs> bean. Fuck you mean. <laughs> John busting big nuts Guido the fourth. Damn. Whoa. <laughs> I listened to every episode That's of the Star Tank and all I got was this lousy dick. The fucking Discord mm-hmm. link is down. I don't know, man. Damn. 
Discord we'll is, make a new is one. I don't know. I guess we'll yeah, we'll make, make a new one. Make a new platform. We'll make a new yeah, we'll make a new we'll make a new Discord called <laughs> yeah, we'll have a, a Discord. <laughs> it's exclusively for members of our community, and that's it. We refuse. You gotta, we, you gotta, you gotta send me a video of you pissing before you can get in. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. <laughs> send me a video of you pissing. I want to see phallus on camera too. I want to see. <laughs> I want to see you. Pit. I want to see you pissing on camera. Your face needs to be in it so we can verify. No AI. We have. We have. Uh, we have full. We have uh, software. We have, to st- we have software it. to detect it. Don't even try. Right. <laughs> And women, ladies, you have to be able no to piss ladies, horizontally. None, no, no ladies. No ladies. Here's the bar. So, so we don't. So look, we don't want to be sexist, but the the bar of entry is you have to be able to piss horizontally while standing. Yeah, bitch. That's crazy. So, <laughs> so, that's so, so wild. You better be able. Right. I, for the ladies, so, I gotta so stand in front of you. Gotta stand horizontal and piss in my face. <laughs> 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 It's the bar of entry. You gotta, you gotta piss in my. You gotta be five feet back and piss in my face horizontal. <laughs> then you can get uh, in our Discord or yeah. our piss corner. <laughs> our piss corner. <laughs> can you the imagine idea of a woman standing a few feet back <laughs> and pissing in a guy's face? You know what I'm. You know what I'm imagining. One of the most absurd things what? ever. I'm imagining. <laughs> I'm imagining this exact. Like this is let's say this is true. This is actually how you get into the Snark Tank Discord. You have to you have to send a video of you pissing. Or like you have to piss in Kingston's face horizontally from five feet away. And every <laughs> single every single member has done that. Which means like everybody who's everybody all the active users on that account, they've proven themselves. They've done it. Five years down the line, there's like a documentary about the the fall of the Snark Tank or whatever. Oh, totally. And <laughs> totally. then like I was and then that. and and then like they even had a <laughs> this weird rule where to get into their Discord, you had to piss in one of the hosts' face from five feet away, and many people <laughs> did. Like, the idea of it being brought up in, like, a, in a context where it's, like, really something that happened is, yeah, is yeah. amazing to me. It's I'd strange love, how I'd many people I'd love to do, like, a mockumentary, dude. That'd be so cool. It that would be. We should do. That would be so fucking it. funny. Just like pretend. Yeah. Not even pretend to have a falling out, but like invent this fake falling out that happens in this like this documentary. <laughs> yeah, that'd be yeah, fun. That'd be great. Uh, I listened to. Oh uh, yeah. Pa, 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 rap Gade alternate title Gape God. Uh, okay, damn. Uh, you know. Yeah. In the comments. Uh, yeah, I, I read it already. The Gape God. Uh, I get that title. You gotta have. You gotta have a pretty impressive. Circular asshole, man. You gotta be. You gotta be a pretty, <laughs> pretty high up there. Put put a basketball in there. Your ass, your asshole gotta look like uh, gotta look like someone with a big smile on their face, opening their mouth. You gotta sit like on a table. Wonders, you gotta sit. You have to sit on my desk, spread eagle, spread eagle, hunched over with your asshole spread open, and I need to be. I need to be able to throw a watermelon up into it and have it land back in my hand with no <laughs> friction. That's that's the only. <laughs> Fuck that's <it>. crazy. <laughs> that's, 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 that's nothing but net, baby. <laughs> nothing but net. <laughs> <laughs> no friction at all. <laughs> a watermelon, <laughs> like an up, like so an upside wild. down gotta, yo-yo, like an upside down yo-yo in a swimming pool, man. I need you know the you know the you know those <laughs> you know those things you know those things inside of um Walmart and like Target those little columns that prevent cars from driving into the store. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I thought yeah. you were gonna say you gotta workers. sit on one of those and sink. You gotta sit on one of those and sink. <laughs> <laughs> you guys said sink. You gotta you sit on one of them. And it's gone. Yeah, you stand up oh, and it's man. gone. It's like, where did it go? It's being digested. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no rest for the homos. Come, don't grow on trees. We've got men to fuck. We've got dick to suck. Nice. I actually can't nice. believe that's, that's not come good. up before. Yeah, ain't r- right. No rest for the homo. Ain't the no homos. rest. I, see, I personally, I would, I my brain goes, ain't no rest for the dicked. Yeah, that's my where my brain goes, and I'm like, we, we got, but of course it does. I guess. Ain't no rest see, for that. Don't grow on trees. Negroes, <laughs> they dangle from trees. We got <laughs> astrogapes. We got. Uh, oh man, yeah, let's, I, let's I relax. Oh, yeah. We got uh, ass oh, to gape. Oh. We got we got throats to chafe. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Obama, the the drone stricken single 
What? Obama and the drone stricken singles in your area. Uh, Jesus. Uh, listening to Sweeney <laughs> nice. makes me consider racism. Baller of the first sin. There goes my homo. Watch him as she blows. Uh, Gabe mm-hmm. with aid of the machine. Two episodes remaining. Be afraid. Mm. Said cock 69 Uh-oh. and two gay guys. Baby, that's all we need. We can go to the bar, stroke some cock, chug that penis. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> He's doing, he tried and he just stopped at the end. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it sounded like. That's what it sounded like. Now I actually roll, like assume that that's what it is. The, the, so the ending of it is, is cut off. So it, it actually is. We can go to the bar, stroke some cock, chug that pint of seed. Uh, but I, ju- I just saw P and go. assumed. Now roll, I just assumed. Roll the 83. <laughs> Cadillac Coupe de Ville. It's a little funnier with my assumption. Hell, but. Skate through Palmdale. Smoking on 20 inch rims. Now roll. All right. Jolly old dipshit. I Johnny Afro Silvercock. Man was amazing when I was little. Cypher graph. Ball twister machine. If you like penis a lot and getting cock in the rain, if you're not into your girl and you love anal pain, Gahemian Rhapsody Part 2. Open your ass, commit to the task, and cream. I'm just a gay boy. I've got some tight pussy. Right, nice. 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 Adrian, That's I'm squirting. Good. Get a glass. I w- <laughs> Adrian, I'm squirting. Get a glass. I want to see it. Uh, <laughs> Sweetie, lick my weenie. Fuck, uh, fuck. Uh, uh, first off, fuck your ass, and then give your brain. What? First off, fuck your ass, and then give you brain. Gay guys yeah. that I ride come dicks with fat vein, fat with Let's veins. Let's go. Uh, you, you you claim, claim to, be, to a- be more than a gay. Than a what? <laughs> you came to be more gayer. That's so that dumb. Uh, we, we we gotta clean that up. We gotta clean that up a bit, but hit him up though. That's good. That's classic. That's, yeah, that's good. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah. You claim to be a player, okay. but I fucked your wife. Did, did I always, did, I, did I ever mention this to you guys? You claim to be like, gay, but I is, fucked your dad. That, one of the funniest things I, I ever thought of was uh, like where he said, you know, he said you claim to be a player, but I fucked your wife. Uh, and I don't know if I told you guys, but like imagine instead of saying fucked, you replaced it with raped. And then if you think about the implication, think about it like you claim to be a player, but I raped your wife. And it's like there's nothing about being a player about just sexually assaulting someone is <laughs> this is the so funniest like thing you've ever thought notes. is that what you said is that what you said this is the funniest really thing you've ever funniest. thought it's really it's, funny but it's super not okay to reveal to your non-close friends you know but it's like, like, it's like, like <laughs> I just like I just love like thinking of it in his voice and like he actually perhaps <laughs> you play in the big like, player but I just that make you a player you why are you like, a player you just raped my wife <laughs> <laughs> that is so insane <laughs> you claim to be I a player but I much. fucked the kid it's like what <laughs> <laughs> completely the off idea, the rails dude teach the, you a idea, lesson, son. <laughs> the idea of him the idea of him bragging about something that's just like really uncool to do like, like he's be a player but i fucked your dog it's like what <laughs> i fucked your dog it's like you my dog Oh, that's my you man. killed it. I have a chihuahua, dude. That's not okay. <laughs> you claim to be Grab a player, but cock. I Q-tipped my dick. It's like, <laughs> uh, it's like what you did? Okay, all right, man. Yeah, you think you're that's so good. fucking cool? Well, guess what? I've got cancer. <laughs> Piggy's just like, oh man, this it's a rap battle going on. He says that, and everybody's this is, like, oh. this is fucking, this is sad. It's like if Eminem was, if Eminem in Eight Mile was like, yeah, I do have AIDS. I do have ten more days to live. And it's like, what the fuck? This is not. This is sad. Get him off the stage. What's going on? He's ruining the moon. Entirely. What the fuck's wrong with Rabbit, bro? What's up with Rabbit? He's out of pocket right now. Yeah, my mom is my sister. <laughs> anyway, you know what's crazy? Yourself. That's Falcon. He dissed like that in that video. That it is song. right in that Anthony Mackie. This fucking Falcon. <laughs> Me and Jalen saw him at a fucking cigar lounge, macking on some right, uh, right, right, Native right. American chick, and it was it was a sight Ooh. to behold. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. 
Dang, pretty cool. I wonder if she's that. uh, what's the that that new movie that's coming out, the Scorsese movie? Oh, uh, Fly- Kill, about, like, those... Kill, Killer of the Fire Moon. <laughs> the Fire Moon. I'm yeah, actually yeah, interested yeah. in that because it's fucking it's interesting, interesting story. Yeah, I've never seen that about... kind of story told before, like in in like a in that way. Like I, you don't really hear a lot about. What is it about? Native American. So it's about um. I actually don't. I, I kind of want to go in blind, as, as blind as possible. But um, okay, it's. I know it's just well, about. It's just Native Americans and and the yeah a retelling uh, of a, a specific tribe that in Oklahoma that got incredibly wealthy because they're sitting on the largest ore in, o- oil fields, and then you know of course. The, uh, you know them people the john smiths came in basically scheming of how to get extract their oil and it's basically following um real life people people that actually existed it's fascinating and apparently they have a lot of the actual tribe it's start- i forgot what their what the tribe is you know i'm sorry yeah but yeah. yeah let's go man it, it, i'm it excited i'm excited good. to see how i'm excited to see how he's gonna fit the end in the first 25 minutes <laughs> That's what I'm excited for. Because <laughs> that's, that's a Scorsese thing, bro. He, the first 20 minutes, you'll get it. And that's many, like, oh, that's interesting. There's, many none, there's none available. Ago. And there's none anywhere near. But, like, he's going to say it somehow. Let's just let's just sit back and watch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, there uh, you the, go. He got the me. tribal N-word chief. <laughs> and you're like, what? Excuse me? You call him tree N-words like in Revenant. That shit had me <laughs> crying, bro. Hell, yeah. I, I, forgot to see, I forgot to watch that. It's fire. Wait, when he gets, like, fucked up by a bear? <laughs> They're like Eminem. Right? What? Eminem, what do you do? <laughs> What's wrong with you, Eminem? It's like I hate the Native Americans. <laughs> it's like oh, <laughs> All right. scared in every yeah, scared my Native family. <laughs> yeah, my family did own slaves, and to this day, I still think that's okay. And it's like oh, all right. <laughs> uh, Yo, stop, M. Put them in the M. soil and dug up their oil. <laughs> The way they toil with their problems so funny. Toil and they ain't loyal. <laughs> George Floyd, Metroid. There is no greater rhyme in history than George Floyd and Metroid. That Fallout Boy uh, did, or, or Panic of the I can't remember. Oh, Wh- whatever. For that, that isn't that for that start the fire? Is that it? Yeah, we did start the fire where they were like George Floyd, Metroid, <laughs> Metroid. That's <laughs> it's like oh man. <laughs> Nice. Did they put like George Floyd in a fucking in the in the in the, in the yeah. suit or something? Yeah, they no, put George Sam is kneeling on fucking <laughs> is Sam is kneeling on George. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. Charge shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's uh, go. The, the the half gay troglodyte that is in Chris's closet. Help! Back the tank of cum. Uh, Caucasian container. Um, uh, the Cracker Bell for gays, Tinfoil Tyrant, uh, Learning Voodoo Witch Magic. <laughs> this episode's so fucking insane. Learning Voodoo Witch Magic to keep Diane Feinstein in office, putting blackface on my light bulbs, imagining Pee Wee Herman jacking off in the background of a porno. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm-hmm. Uh, they should put. They should make an AI program that digitally inserts Pee Wee Herman in the background of every frame of a pornographic uh, film. <laughs> I'm down. I'd watch. It's wow. terrible. What the fuck is going on? What? Keep going. Guys, I want to eat he- so bad. Oh, Please, my head- I think my headphones podcast. just fucked up entirely. Why don't you, uh, you, sh- why don't you have crackers, nigga? Dang, that's, a, that's quite the conversation. <laughs> you, that's quite the, that's the most boondocks. <laughs> that is the most boondock <laughs> sentence I've ever heard in my life. Why don't you have crackers, <laughs> nigga? <laughs> Arnold's... I want that on my tombstone. All right, go ahead. I can't... I can't say this, but it's it's obvious what it is. Um, I'm Arnold, the N-word. yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna say it. Swartz the N-word, great, great, great. <laughs> it's I stared too long into Sweeney's eyes and Derek's eyes, and it made me gay. Sweeney, 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 swallow up my peenie. Bend my dick, commit a sass. Wants uh, Chris to know that Allison Brie has two fully nude scenes in her new movie. Uh, somebody I used. To, all right, cool. Well, let's Google that real quick. Somebody. Oh, me too. I used to know. All right. Somebody All right. I used to know. Jackpot. All right. Pir- pirated. Can you see let's, watch, let's do a watch uh, party. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah instantly yeah, pirated. Ammo. Instantly pirated. Instantly. <laughs> um, <laughs> instantly screenshotted and lube is prepared. Where is this? How do I? How do I see this? All right. Let's go. Let's go through the. All right. Uh, 
she picked it on my Pippa. Possum's That's better cool. at skating, listening to you. Breathe but gay, give me your dick and you'll come in my asshole. You won't, won't you come in me? My heart is strong, but my hate is stronger. Uh, average clit energy. I hope Sween gets mm. vitiligo. vitiligo. Uh, they should make pedos wear GoPros in prison <laughs> so you can see what happens to them. I think that would be neat. Yeah. Star Coffee on Twitch, bitch. Mama JF. <laughs> Mama, J- Mama JF martyred in an IDF airstrike. Been blowing lots of guys <laughs> living in a gay man. I've been blowing lots of guys living in a gay man's paradise. Taking dongs of every size nice. living in a gay man's paradise. Um, nice. A trans femme gremlin exposing people with lactose intolerance to 90 million rotogens of ionizing radiation. You should not vinpan the angelic DM. My anaconda don't want unless you got nuts, hun. Craig the Canadian, slipknot, wait and bleed. I felt gay. I felt the gay rise up in me. Kneel down and mm-hmm. suck the penis clean. I wander <laughs> out to <laughs> nice. find some seed. Uh, seed. It's your boy, Shawnee D. Yeah. Uh, cool. Derek, this it's is your, your last warning. Shiny Stop D. coming in my pancake batter. School shootings prove why people are I the best not. at AOE damage. Ben not. and Jerry's funky monkey. Dracula flow. Uh, got that Pinocchio dick. Tell my bitch I'm faithful. Then I fuck her like I meant it. <laughs> I really can't get over that sentence. That's such a good line. 3XO buying Let's Raycons go. in 2020 and them shocking my ear and ceasing function after shortly uh, uh, shortly after the warranty expired. Slurp and stroke and smoke and joke and emoticons going like this. Morning outlet. Keep Keith David, Drip MH, uh, Return of Drip, Dracula Flow, Call My Ops, Garfield the Cat, The Way I Make Him Lick My Balls. <laughs> uh, Obi Wan to Blow Me. Crazy. Two flows. I love it. Two flows. Dox me, stalk me, dox me, my friend. Stalk me, stalk me, rape me. Nirvana sung by Jack Films. Uh, uh, piece of guy accidentally at Chris Hansen's house. <laughs> I've always thought about that. Like, if. if, if if there's yeah, ever yeah. a pizza guy that had to deliver pizza to it's that's such Chris a Hansen, funny and, idea, and then Chris dude, Hansen like, opens the door and he's like, oh, uh, but it really is just pizza. I don't know, man. He's like he's seen. like sitting around like waiting to get paid. He's like, okay, have they come in. Strange they were having, huh? And he's like, yeah. Oh, you're Chris I got Hansen. invited into this house weirdly. I kind of just want to get paid. I got a few more deliveries to make. Oh, deliveries, huh? He's like, yeah. Pizza. Why pizza did you game? say you want to shove an entire pizza box up this bitch's ass? Huh? Uh, and then some other guy walks in and I turns around, walks out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say pe- that guy has pizza? <laughs> Why up. did you say in this trap room that, that, you- <laughs> that guy has a, a DiGiorno? Why did you say? Why did you say? Why did you say, Kyle, in this transcript of this chat room that you can only quote? Come if you can visibly see the rectangular pizza box in your abdomen from the outside. What was that, <laughs> that about? That is so fucking morbid. <laughs> this guy's like, oh, he's talking about that is so morbid. Uh, that uh, is uh, so uh, morbid. Oh, uh, my uh, God. You're I going to look like a CD pay, pay in pay a it. sock when I'm done with you, you said. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, it's me, bro. I, that's not me, bro. And the guy's it's, genuinely like, I had never said that. I, I didn't say that, bro. I just, you know, all pizza. You ever, you see, have you seen They're every pizza dumb, delivery bro. driver in the can 90s? You imagine, no, can you imagine? First of all, long haired and stoned. First of all, can you imagine that being a kink, wanting no, wanting oh. a woman to swallow a whole pizza box so she looks like a fucking sock with a jewel case in it? I, I, yeah, I, hot, can't, dude. I can't even fucking fathom. <laughs> Wait, let's I like move on. the idea Gate. of you looking like a snake. With a fucking <laughs> yeah, big, with a, fucking with a big rock in your tummy, <laughs> you're gonna look like a snake that swallowed a trapper keeper. You said, <laughs> <laughs> "What's this about?" <laughs> Gay that peace, so fucking police fucking coming hard. <laughs> <laughs> do I want a trapper keeper? I'm gonna buy one, dude. I'm gonna buy one when we get out of here. Why do you want to buy a trapper be keeper? Tired. Because it's cool. I want the same one that I bought as a kid, or my mom got me. I want to fi- see if I can find the exact one. Like it was all purple and shit. That's so stupid, but it's probably not that much money. So. Yeah, <laughs> it's not stupid. It's just like you know, this doubt. Like I just bought a bunch. Of, I went to uh, what you, I bought a bunch of CDs. There's a bunch of. They're all thirty five cents at a, at a pawn shop. So I bought the Armageddon soundtrack. I bought a uh, fucking en- Enrique Iglesias. I bought fucking Lacuna Coil. Like it's so on and so forth. Uh, in sync, the original album. It's, it's there's thirty five cents. Why not? That's pretty cool. I don't even have a means to play CDs on my computer anymore, which is crazy. Yeah, I don't. Well, I bought a drive. No, I, that's true. Correct. Me neither. Actually, my mom got me one for my birth. No, for Christmas, and I was like. 
That's kind of hilarious. This is actually a good gift because I never even considered ever buying one. <laughs> Just, yeah, you know, like that is a really good. Them. That is a really good. I should get one actually because I, I do yeah. have like I have a modded PlayStation, so I could just burn games onto CDs and play them. Like I don't know why. I'd, it's huh. possible. You, you just can. put an idea. You just put an idea in my head. Uh, Let's anyway, go. Uh, Abby, changing my name to Gay Rise Against Lyrics until Chris puts out an album that you're gonna be waiting. Nice. Oh, man. That might actually work. <laughs> Lady Gaga Bloody Mary tune. But I don't think I've I don't think I know Bloody Mary by Lady Gaga actually. I'll dance, dance, dance with my I'm ass, sure. ass, ass, and suck the head, head, head. Like Jesus said. Oh, I do know what that okay. I do know what that song is. Mm. Oh, I, I didn't know that was Lady Gaga. i okay. Wow. Interesting. Wage slate five eighty three. I feel when I gay. Think about it. It is obvious if you think about it, but like I just kind of, I only, you know what it is? Because I only hear that stupid fucking pitched up, sped up version on TikTok. So like, it could be fucking uh, anybody at that point. Um, God damn it. <gasps> the TikTok being $13, terrible. $13, bro, for Trapper Keeper. That's crazy. That's, that's it. That's still a lot, kind of. That's, that's like, I mean, that's rent. Not really. In the, the 1820s. <laughs> Oh, I was like, bitch, where are you at? I was like, when are you India at? Something. <laughs> what are you talking about? It, that's that's rent in Chernobyl on the elephant's foot. Uh, the Papini, I feel gay. Fuck Give you. The money. Papini Brothers Emporium of Realistic Cami and, and Chun Li, Chun Li thigh shaved neck pillow self tightening sold separately. Um, Donk Donkerson, do you see Banana Man laying over on his white hot ass? Here he comes with come for me. Following freshly from his banana tree. Well, I don't. I don't oh. even know what to make of that. I don't even know if that was that like a poem. <laughs> I guess <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. You got to pay the troll so to get in the boys' hole. Gade six. I'm him. I've been him. I will continue to be him. Kill me or release me, parent, parasite. But do not waste my time with full penetration gay butt sex. Nice. Not even didn't didn't even try. Um, Finn Lizzie <laughs> has a song called Ray Gun. You should check it out. I suck. I stuck the Glock in her pussy and blew her away. Jesus Damn. Christ! Big boy, big scream boy, uh, a mean lesbian. I'm high on twelve. Jason Bournes looking to beat the cum out of a thick, fresh oak. John Strickland, give me a second. I need to make sure I'm not straight. My friends are in the men's room, getting ran through like nickel. Wait, what is this? Oh, give me a second, I. I need to I need to make sure I'm not straight. My friends are in the men's room getting ran through like nickel nickel plate. Is that what that's supposed that's to be? That's what that is. I assume. Is that that's what that is? So the only thing, the only thing that works. Hey, hey there, my nigga. What's well, it's it not the like same song in... at all, but yeah. <laughs> 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 Guys, you have to end the podcast. It's going on too long. We're losing oh, yeah, our yeah, fucking yeah. We're minds. Almost... We gotta end it. No, hold hey. on, John Strickland. No, uh, no, uh, no, no. Um, no. It's good, yeah. Man, Australian <laughs> Australian accents are really crazy because, like, I I can make fun of that in one breath, and also like that works and for me. Come in the next. Yeah, I, really I don't think their accents are good at all, but I think Australian women are just beautiful. You don't think Margot Robbie is hot when she? You don't think Margot Robbie is attractive? I think she's attractive. I don't think her accent's attractive at all. I think her. I think without mm. her accent, she would be fine. I think. I think she really? got less attractive when she fucked Will Smith. Yeah, she probably did. I mean, whatever. Man. Likely did. She definitely for the did. Story. She definitely did. <laughs> Blowing her out. <laughs> You heard that he throws up now when he fucks, right? Some what the some fuck are you talking some about? Some <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he fucking he, he had so much sex that he has a, a reaction to. He has a visceral reaction. That's to crazy. That's fuck, how I'm trying to be, man. Throws up. That's that's the life I'm trying to live. Are you joking, bro? Absolutely. Get me so sick of pussy that I can't stand it, man. Absolutely. That's great. I don't want to be that. That's where that I'm trying. That's horrible. That's where I'm trying to be, man. I'm trying. That's. I, I think I've realized that's where I. That's how you beat it. Really, is so you have so much sex that you you get repulsed by it. And you don't want it anymore, and only then can you truly <laughs> evolve beyond it. Only then can you, you get truly evolve. Like there are those celibate monks, those idiots who are like virgins. You know they're just thinking about it constantly. They can't. Oh man. Oh. oh. They're fucking wasting their whole fucking lives, and all they should be doing the exact opposite. They should be fucking with no. Co- concept of consequence and then 
Only then will they be enlightened. Guys, I really want to eat. Can we please stop the podcast soon? Finish the names. I'm so just, hungry. Why don't you just shit up your own back and let it dribble <laughs> into your fucking mouth? <laughs> and your I shit my own back and it. I shit up my own back and it looks like venom's taking over me. But it's just my shit just crawling down my body. <laughs> 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 I see someone do that because they're so hungry. They're so hungry. <laughs> the, idea, the, idea of somebody, the idea of somebody being like, guys, I'm really hungry. It's like, I'm sorry, we got like another 30 minutes left of this. And then, and then just you see him sit like, get like really stressed. And then, and then it just blows up his shirt. Under his hat, down, up over his face, it looks like Carrie, and it's just dri- and he's just like, uh, uh. it's like, bro, just keep crackers next to you or something. What is going on? This is, this is- right. Why does Donnie shit himself when he? Why does Why does Barry shit up his back when he's hungry? <laughs> this, is, this is one of the most. Uh, I can't even. Uh, I don't know uh, why I said that. Oh, that right. was wild. That was out of pocket, man. Let's go. Let's I'm go. sorry. All right, we'll get through the rest of these. Merck's 1889. I let the record show I was the worst. Three fucking hours, guys. <laughs> three fucking it's a good episode. This it's is a make up- double length episode. <laughs> Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, this will make up for the episode we skipped. Yeah, li- yeah, I like that. This will make. <laughs> no, we should we should still do the other one. At least if it's like a God smaller damn one. Damn it! Damn it! Okay. Uh, uh, what was I saying? I'm actually going insane. Merck's 1889. Let the record show that I'm the f- I was the first motherfucker hitting that Dracula flow in the name read. You you were. I I, I noticed the first church of Keith David Donald Summer be like looking for some butt stuff, baby, this evening. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> women who can't speak yeah. give the best head their mouth's gotta be good for something pre-Roz Blake 896 I don't think you understand the cultural significance of my dick man fuck off getting suspended from school for mispronouncing that one African country Trish from accounting Alaskan oil field trash Texas tater salad Sweeney and the Fauci tag team mama Sweeney and Fauci tag team mama JF for science. I drank her piss out of another man's balls. Wow. Remember the e- Ente? No, not Ente. Et, 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 I don't know what this is. Et, 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 etine? What the Remember fuck the is this? I don't know what that is. E T I E N N E. Etienne? I don't know. Remember I don't by know Etienne? What that is it's, uh, rem- oh, remember it, by is it something backwards? I think it's a song. So remember, oh, the Titan. Remember, remember is a song, I guess. By Etienne, sin is a Trojan horse. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, I've, th- those words really, really fucked me up. Sue Hulk. Okay, tickle my ass hairs. Nikki Ziggy, <laughs> Chris Marcus again. Cole lost his thrash, his last thrash ball, and is taking your autograph, autographed one since he said. It does have his name on it. <laughs> That's so dumb. Um, <laughs> I have returned after my eight-month depressive episode. I am once again manic and no longer care about financial responsibility. We should all be Ooh, so lucky. Oh. Emoticons Let's going like this. R- Ramirez, less condom. Make it count. Uh, Jackson DuPont, <laughs> badly brave. <laughs> Hugger Derek, duck <sighs> cunt. Goliath voice. Too. I've been denied everything. Even my cum. <laughs> Aetherian. <laughs> Progerian Hunter. Melfus one. The angriest crowd back from Texas. Just ignore the news, please. Uh, and as always, rounding out our list over here. Uh-huh. Rounding out our hilarious little list. In this lengthy, King. emotion-filled episode of the Snark Tank Podcast. King oh. of Haphazard. Ramirez. We did it, guys. Ramirez, take off your pants now. Ramirez. Ramirez, fuck my ass in Burger Town. Ramirez, oh. bust in my nose. Quick. <laughs> bust, bust in Ramirez, my nose. Ramirez, lady up to... <laughs> Ramirez, the gay porn's in Burger Town. Protect, protect it at all costs. Ramirez, come on my Corolla right now. <laughs> <laughs>